What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 159 of the Games and Grabs podcast. I'm Sonny G here, as always, with Finn Steele. Hello. I think it's uh, Mad Cap Steve. Finn. It's Mad Cap Finn and Mad Cap Steve here with yeah, Mad Cap Sonny course, G. Of course, yeah. <laughs> of break, course. We're, 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 this is the Games and Mad Caps podcast. It is. <laughs> yeah. Named after yeah. our hero, Riddick Moss. Or Mad all your Mad, Ca- Mad Cap Moss news. Yeah. All the Mad Cap Moss news. All I mean, of he it. Li- he eliminated I've AJ Styles break- in the Rumble. He's, I've got uh, some the greatest... breaking news for you. We'll go on then. He's crap. Yep. Well, okay. Well, I'm not sure it's breaking news if it's <laughs> you know common common knowledge beforehand. Well, yeah. I mean, some people some people may not know. You know, you people that aren't on Twitter or didn't Wait, watch the Royal Rumble. He eliminated so. AJ Styles. The great AJ Styles is clearly he the did. best wrestler in WWE right now. Wow. Clearly. That's true. I mean, you, you don't wear braces, shorts, and them shit out shoes and not be the best wrestler in WWE. <laughs> of course. And I get it. I get it. This is true. <laughs> I get the fascination with Madcap Moss. So good. <laughs> so l- 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 let's start this pod properly. I'm yeah, Madcap Sonny G here, as always, with Madcap Finn Steele. Hello. And Madcap Steve. Good evening. And it's the first podcast of 2022. We're here, Ooh, finally. We I know you've it. missed us. Discord <laughs> said so. Which so, is nice. It is nice. But, you know, yeah. we've, we've been doing so much stuff this year so far. You know, we've All been, the content. We've been busy boys. We've been doing... We're back streaming. We said we'd be back streaming, and now we're finally back. Twitch.tv forward slash games and graps. And we've all been doing a bit. You know, yeah, I've been doing yeah. some stuff. Finn's been, you know, doing... <laughs> fucking marathon streams <laughs> like finn's been doing shift at work streams that's how long uh, finn's been going <laughs> it's been fun crazy i've been playing mass effect i just finished mass effect yeah. actually got the fan trophy it's uh a lot of fun that's why i'm streaming so long i just want to play it i just want to keep playing it <laughs> that's, that's fair enough hey look so you're getting them stream numbers up that's what you're doing hell yeah mm. hell oh yeah definitely yeah so but good. it's good did you get the platinum on stream uh, i did I did indeed. Awesome. Very nice. Yeah, it's nice straightforward um, platinum. Just use all the abilities a bunch of times, play through the game, do all the side quests, and you win. It's good. Awesome. And yeah. Steve's been playing some Far Cry 6 on stream and some Halo. Yeah, Far nice. Cry 6 has been going well. I've, I'll come on to that in a bit. Halo, mm. not so good. <laughs> but it's Steve's fun. Is sticking with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to. Yeah, I've, I've got to now. It's out there in the, in in Tinterweb, isn't it? So I've got to, I've I've got to carry it on, and I've got to finish the game, and I will do, I will do. I'll put it on bitch mode and uh, just make it a little bit easier for myself, and we'll go yeah, from man. there. Get it on bitch mode. Get it on Ludo. bitch mode. It doesn't matter. Bitch. It's all good. Just, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Go nothing wrong bitch. with bitch. <laughs> Halo bitch. <laughs> Halo bitch. <laughs> So yeah, we've been doing we've been doing so much, and you know, thanks for everybody who popped along for our Raw Rumble stuff at the weekend. Uh, the yeah, pre-show yeah. before the pre-show was awesome. It was great to see everybody back, and we're glad that yeah. you would not forgotten us or given <laughs> up on us. Um, so that was awesome. And then we did a little Raw Rumble stream on WWE 2K15 after that, which was really good fun as well. Um, yeah, and it was just great to see everybody sort of coming along joining the streams and uh, just having a good time with uh, team games and grabs uh, this past weekend. But now yes. we're back podcasting. Streams aren't back, going baby. away. They're not. No. God, no. No. Hell Pre-shows no. aren't going away. Nope. Nope. In fact, you're going to get more stuff from us. This more is going to be like the more. biggest games and grabs year ever. And we're, we're, we're fucking psyched. Ever. Yes. Ever. Ever. Give me. Ever. So okay. how's everyone been anyway? It was nice to see you all in person at the weekend. Yes, it's been a while. Um, yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing all right. Surviving. Finn, you're so, you're so fucking hench now. I know, right? So, <laughs> so Oh my God. The ring, <laughs> I know. The ring Hardly. fit has been doing you so good. It has. It has. I've been being lazy with it, actually. I haven't done it in a little while, but I'm going to get back on it. Oh, you lazy piece of shit, Finn. I can't I believe it. I know. I'm you, so lazy. You come around mine, you look all hench and stuff, <laughs> and then you fuck it off. You know, no, I'm no. going to show these guys how much weight I've lost and how good I look, <laughs> but then I'm going to fuck it up. Yeah. But no, I've been, you know. fat as shit. Yeah, that's me. Uh, but no, I've been busy working, busy at work, doing a lot of lifting and shit, all the 
crap stuff. Lifting and shit. Lifting and shit. Heavy stuff. Yeah. And fighting off drop lifters left and right. Bit of street in music here. Stone Cold Stunners there. Yeah. RKO nice. is out of nowhere. Some good. Yeah. Steve, <laughs> you good? Yeah, really good. Yeah, it's uh, good all round. It's, it's good uh, all round. It, yeah. I can't believe that January has been and gone. Um, Christmas yep. seems like a very distant memory. I know, right? We haven't it done does. a podcast since way before Christmas. <laughs> nope. But yeah, all good. All good. And it was, like I said, just to echo your what you said there, Saturday was was really good fun. Uh, loved the it's pre-show really before the pre-show. Um, and the Royal Rumble as well, in terms of streaming the Royal Rumble on, on Twitch. That was mm. enjoyable. The show, I guess we'll come on to that in a bit. Mm. We will. We will. Um, but yeah, I, I'm glad everyone's good. It's good to be back in the swing of things, uh, finally, doing podcasts and stuff. Mm. And yeah, I'm just. it's just good to be back. So yeah, let's start the show the way that we always start the show. Uh, let's talk about them pretzels that Finn brought around mine at the weekend because <laughs> they were so good. Like those sour yeah. cream Ooh, and yeah. chive pretzels that you brought around. Magnifique. So I good. Know, right? So good. I bought them before. I was like... Yeah, okay, I'll give, give these a try. They might be all right. And yeah, they're amazing. So I thought, okay. Incredible. I saw them like, sitting there, kind of being set, I started going to bring stuff around uh, for the Rumble. I saw those. I was like, yes, I'm going to share this uh, magnificence with the boys. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they were magnificent. They really I mean, were good. So good. Yeah. And then, I've, I've, good. Uh, I've had them before, and but it's one of those I forgot about them. And mm-hmm. now I just want to go and get a bag. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but they are. They were lovely. They were so good. Speaking a great good. choice, Finn. Yes, I know, right? So good. Uh, speaking of good, uh, the cakes you and Kay got were <sighs> amazing. Like goddamn. Yeah, the they were real good. Tasted. They're good cakes. It's a great. It's a good cakery. Oh yeah, it's, it is. It's very good. Very good. Very good. Very very good. Steve's been there before, but uh, that was your first Too experience much. with the uh, the nice cakes. But they were yeah. they were really good, and we'll have them again. Absolutely. They were so good. I ate way too many and I felt sick the next day. But it was worth it. <laughs> 100% worth it. 100% worth cakes. It. We'll get some more in for WrestleMania. We'll have a WrestleMania cake fest. Oh, yeah. That sounds that's good. good to me. That sounds really it does good. sound pretty good. Yeah. yeah it sounds sure. expensive as well, but that's good. We'll chip <laughs> it. It does. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be chip fine. It's okay. No dents. Yeah. I, I knew you were no dents, zero dents. Um, I knew you, yeah. you had enjoyed them, Finn, because I, I, I don't think that you're kind of a. a it, sweet person in terms of like you like got a sweet tooth well, come but you, on were just, like, you were just guy. you were just there oh he's a lovely guy but he's just probably not got a sweet tooth but he was there just like another one uh have another bit, bit i thought he's enjoying those cakes he's <laughs> yeah and i, I could hear <laughs> i could hear the satisfaction in his voice he was like <laughs> yeah. he's like these are good he's cakes good. Like, he doesn't speak he's an good. awful lot it's usually myself <laughs> and steve that do the majority of the talking. Finn's just, you know, a silent assassin in the corner. But occasionally, <laughs> you would hear, oh, these cakes are good. <laughs> these, these, these cakes are good. Like and good. he was... <laughs> yeah, and he, he was right, 100% correct. So I'm so half, you half three in the morning. Half three in the morning. Oh, these cakes are good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've just made inappropriate joke 730 of the night, and Finn's just there like, these cakes are good. <laughs> oh man right let's start the podcast properly this time finn hello what have you been playing uh what haven't i been playing um a lot so as you said earlier i just finished uh mass effect one on stream nice very, very good just an amazing remaster it's so good for like a what 15 year old game or 12 year old game yeah it um it looks incredible very very impressive look forward to playing the next one um yeah what else i've just finished uh kingdom hold hearts up, hold up hold okay. up hold up <clears throat> hold up you got the platinum hold for mass up. effect i didn't know what it means mm-hmm. you get a round of applause oh, cool. let's do I've this been... i'd forgotten about the round of applause here we go it's been a while it's been a while first round of applause of the year yeah Fuck thank yeah. you thank you whoa, whoa. Uh, I might still one. super hyped as well it's still that's all the time <laughs> Uh, speaking of platinum, I've got a platinum trophy in Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory, which is Jesus. a yeah, I know another stupid title, but it is a rhythm game, music rhythm game, with music from Kingdom Hearts. It's very good. Was I love it me good? some. 
Very good, yeah. I love me some rhythm games, some music games. Uh, that's what I'm uh, and Kingdom Hearts being Kingdom Hearts dumps a whole load of story stuff right at the end of the game. And it's all convoluted and stupid, but I love it. Fair <laughs> enough. Good Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Such a good. Um, what else? Played a few little things. Uh, so while you're aware, I've been playing, plugging the way out. Very fun. Oh, you're enjoying it? We need to play that. I've got it as well. So, we yeah, we need yeah, to play awesome. that. Absolutely. Uh, also, Mario Party Superstars been playing. A few games online. Well, I really also fun. have that. We need to. Yeah. We need to get on this. When you're oh, yeah, on my, when you're on these games, you need to just send me a message, and I'll come <laughs> on these games. Because the I've got is, these games also. I know, right? The problem is always playing like middle of the night because <laughs> always at work like no, during normal human times. Because you're an android. Because um, I'm an android. Yeah. Findroid. <laughs> Findroid. Findroid. Yeah. Yeah. But next time I've got a day off and like during normal human times, I will uh, let you know. We'll have a game or two. Yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll we'll do some we'll do some streaming of these fun Nintendo games that Nintendo don't want us to stream. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll get a takedown <laughs> notice, but it'll be worth it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, Dirt five platinum that as well. <laughs> Just because why not? Jesus. No clap for me. Another very straightforward platinum trophy. That's a good um, one too. Good game. It's really good. Yeah. Just like a nice chill out, drive around. Podcast on the background, just yeah, basically just again, just play all the all the bases. And you'll get the band trophy, no big deal. Yeah, um, a lot of the Codemasters racing games follow that same, um, you know, sort of thing. Just basically play through the game. Yeah, exactly. Nothing complicated, nothing ridiculous. Just play through the game, and the games are always very good. They are racing game geniuses. Our Codemasters, yeah. so uh, obviously yeah. part of EA now, but um, still, you know, under Codemasters, which is good. Um, but yeah, that's a really good game. I I'm working through it myself. Cool. It's good stuff. And, and the only other one was, I streamed it, again, streamed it, <laughs> it was a game called Insomnis, which was sent. Mm. Um, it's a horror game slash puzzle game. It's, mm, it's fine. It's not that great. Um, okay. It's not that scary. Uh, the horror wasn't really that great. The puzzles were... Stupid, super weird, and some of them just didn't make any sense. Um, so yeah, it was. So you right. really enjoyed it then? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I, had of, I had a couple of moments where I was like, "Oh, okay, that's pretty cool," but most of the time I was just like, "Okay, it's just it's stupid. Okay. I just want a game to end now." <laughs> it's only a couple of hours long, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's okay. But cool. Nothing special. And I think that's about it. I'm sure there's other bits and pieces I've been doing that I don't remember, but yeah. That's about it. That's a good solid, good solid amount of games, though. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting, getting a lot of gaming done these past few weeks over Christmas and whatnot. So, what's your next? Um, what's your next streaming game? Um, I'm gonna play uh, a game called Death Door, which is on Game Pass. It it's is sort of like a yeah, sort of like a top-down Zelda-ish, Dark Souls-ish, a lot of hack, hack and slash kind of thing. Which yeah. is very cool. It's very, uh, very me. It's only quite short. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna play through that before I jump into Mass Effect Two. Yeah, something to break it up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Looking hmm. forward to playing that. Awesome. Yeah. So that's about it. Uh, how about you, Steve? What have you been playing? Oh, uh, so mainly Far Cry 6. So I've finished the main story for that. Uh, nice. Cool. Since nice. the last since the last time we did the podcast, which is good. I've put a stupid amount of hours into that game. Uh, I looked earlier and shot myself with how many hours I've put into it and how many hours have you put into it? Seventy five and a half. Whoa, wow, really? really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. That's good. Um, I mean I finished the story a lot. Uh, yeah, it is a lot. It is a lot. I finished the story a while ago and I'm just going in now and, you know, clearing up all the checkpoints and all the different things and all the bases and, and doing all of that. I'd I'd like to thousand gamer score it. I'm not sure I will because there's one or two that I'm looking at and thinking don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, but I'll give it a try. Uh, I did the Rambo mission earlier today. Uh, that cool. was, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, carnage. Absolute carnage, like a Rambo film. Nice. So, yeah, it's just mental. Uh, the, the the last part of the mission, bit of a spoiler here, it, you're, you're expected to kill 550-odd um, <laughs> enemy soldiers, 
which is obviously very Rambo-esque. Very you Rambo. You don't have to kill that many. You kill about 20, and then it jumps to 300. Um, but, it's, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. You get a really cool bow bow and arrow that's it's awesome. So, yeah, I've been playing a lot of that. I've streamed it a couple of times as well. Uh, one of them was just a, a test stream. The other one was because Halo did me over. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, um, so yeah i've been playing that i played a couple of hours of halo very badly on twitch but i will carry on with it and i will finish what do you think to it what do you think to halo infinite well, it's cool it's really really cool it looks amazing you know it does. guns the guns are awesome you know you just you can just shooting people I mean, what, or, or not people aliens and god knows what they mm-hmm. are um but no it, it really really great looking game you know that, that opening sequence that intro bit was you know, it grabs you, really grabs you. And yeah. um, it's cool, a really cool game. That's why I will carry on with it. Despite being terrible, I will carry on with it because yeah, it's awesome. I mean, I've not played a lot of Halo. Like, like I said on the stream, I've probably played an hour of Halo 3 and I was like, uh, no, I'll put FIFA 2010 on, thanks. And just <laughs> yeah. whatever it was, probably probably not even FIFA then. It would have been uh, Pez. But um, yes. Yeah. So I've not played a lot of Halo at all, so very, very new to it. It's maybe want to play it, Bulletstorm think... a bit more, though, <laughs> oddly. Oh, okay. Yeah, that might That'd be a future great. stream. Play That'd be a really cool yeah. one, actually. That's a good game yeah. as well. Yeah. The thing yeah, is, yeah. with Halo, and especially sort of in comparison to Far Cry, mechanically, it's very different. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, it's... And if you've not really played a Halo game much... It's quite difficult to get into, I would say. Yeah, yeah. But when you do get into it and the mechanics click, uh, you know, I think you'll start to to really enjoy it. But yeah, you know, not the difficulty down. It really doesn't matter. Play the yeah. game on whatever difficulty you want, and um, I think you'll breeze through it and have a good time with it. Yeah, I, it's I, a lot I different that, to the Halos as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I found that by the end of the stream, actually, I was getting a bit more used to it. And I was like, oh, I've cleared that bit without dying. I must be doing something right. I must be getting used to it. Yeah. So that's good. Uh, I may do tomorrow night, maybe next week. I'm not really sure uh, in terms of my next stream. We'll see. Okay. Um, cool. I played a little bit of Rocket League as well. I downloaded it because I think we were going to try and do a maybe do Rocket play a bit of Rocket League. Uh, yeah. Played that for a couple of hours one Saturday morning and, uh, yeah, forgot how good and how stupidly addictive it is. <laughs> it's so fun. Yeah, just such, a, such Finn, a fun, fun game. Yeah, me and Finn, we did. Um, we we were playing it just one random Friday night. I messaged Finn. I was like, uh, "You got Rocket League downloaded?" And he was like, "No, but I can." So and then we just yeah. sat for ages playing Rocket League. We were playing competitively, which, firstly, probably a mistake. <laughs> yeah. But we, you know, the casual games were too easy. We were winning, uh, so <laughs> we decided to play competitive. And competitive is definitely the word I would use for it. Yeah, but it was yeah, good fun. Yeah, yeah, we did yeah, better couple games. Only a couple, and got thrashed in a lot more than a couple. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we still we still won. We won the few, so that's good. We won. We did. Yeah, just... we did. We didn't disgrace ourselves too badly. I don't think. Yeah, we did okay. We did okay. It's changed a lot as well since the last time I played. It's changed a yeah, shitload. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's a free to play game now as well. So yes, um, obviously they're they're they're, they're tr- obviously trying to find ways to to make money, which obviously brings in the implementation of a season pass and there's a shitload of DLC and stuff that you can buy. Um, but look, it's still, the, the, the core gameplay hasn't changed. It's still really great. Rocket League rules. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so really cool. Uh, we played a bit of Sea of Thieves the other night. We were terrible, so that's enough of Awful, that. Awful, yeah. Uh, <laughs> really, really bad. We've not played it for months and months and months. And there's so yeah. many cool updates to that game and there's so much coming this year with that game as well. So we, we, we need to stick with it, I think. And, yeah, uh, we'll attempt to more. stream it at some point, but we need to sort yeah. of get back in the swing of things first because otherwise the stream is going to be us being really shit at yeah. Sea of Thieves. Um, no one wants to see that. No. Probably. No, I mean, no. I guess they maybe do. I don't know. I think it was funny for the most part. Um, and we did sink yeah. a boat. So that's, that's you know, that's good. We did sink a boat. We did. Yeah, a big one as nice. well. And then our sank because when we... We well, we basically parked it on an island and couldn't move it, and then <laughs> couldn't so move. It just yeah, so that it just sank it for us. The game was like, right, you dickheads, you have fucked it. Uh, <laughs> we're just gonna we you balls to all the treasure you've got on there. We're just gonna sink it for you, and they did. Yeah, <laughs> great. Did I was like, why am I in the water? Oh, the boat's gone. Brilliant. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> so that was fun. 
that's yeah. that's it really in terms of gaming future streams i'm going to do football manager 22 uh, i have a nice i have a newcastle united save which i'm two or three games into so it won't take me long to bring people up to speed and you haven't got to watch me do all the boring scouting and buying players and buying coaches and stuff like that fair enough so i will stream that at some point in the future excellent nice. Well, thank Good. You. Um, I've been playing a, a bunch of different stuff. Um, so I played through one Uncharted 1, 2, and 3. We finished all three of those. Um, three I finished on stream, which was which was good fun. Um, and now I'm playing Uncharted 4, which rules. Um, what else have I been playing? Uh, I've been playing I've been playing a lot of VR. I've been playing a lot of uh, Oculus stuff. So that's cool. Um, I've been playing Walkabout Mini Golf, which you tried at the weekend, Steve, at mine, which is great. Yes. Really, really good stuff. It's it's so one cool. of the best VR games I've ever played. It's just amazing. So much fun. Um and it's just so it's just something about it. You know, there, there's something that what's great about the Oculus, again, and I'll bang the drum on it for forever, is no wires. So it is completely 360 and playing walkabout mini golf. The physics of it and the surroundings, it just feels like real mini golf. Yeah, it's excellent. great. And it's excellent. Yeah. Um, I've been playing Unplugged VR, which is a Guitar Hero type game. Oh, yeah? Um, but you don't use the controllers. You literally use your hands um, oh. to hold and to hold the guitar and strum the guitar. That's cool. Um, so it just use hand, uses hand tracking to just absolute perfection. It's so good. Um yeah, so I've been playing a, a bunch of VR. Um, been, I played, tried some stuff out on Game Pass. I played Windjammers Two, uh, nice. which is great. Nice really, playing. really good. Worth playing. Worth having a look at if you've got Game Pass. I, I mean, any game is worth looking at if you've got Game Pass. But yeah. um, Windjammers Two is really, really good fun. It's just basically one-on-one -on -one frisbee football. <laughs> yeah, a lot, that's the only way I can describe it. Yeah, I remember seeing a lot of the first one like a while ago. People were going nuts about it because I haven't even heard of it. It's like one of those games that flies under the radar, but the people who do play it like love it completely. Mm. Yeah, it's so really it's good. Cool they got a sequel. It's quite yeah. difficult as well. But it's good. Cool. Um, I played Rainbow Six Extraction. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's just okay. Like I, I, I don't know. It's just fine, I guess. <laughs> it's fine. Um, it doesn't feel like Rainbow Six. It feels like something else. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. Again, it's on Game Pass, so if you want to play it, it's on. It's there, but yeah, you still play as sort of the same sort of characters as in uh, the last one. Uh, yeah, just go in, do whatever the thing is, and come out. It's like, yeah, I did, I did it. I guess kill zombies, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. It's, it's zombies and stuff this time. So yeah, yeah. okay, it's weird. It's just a weird game. I don't think it will do well. I mean, it'll have a high player base because it's on Game Pass, but um, I, it's not worth 60 quid. No. No. Not no. at all. Uh, what else have I been playing? I feel like I've been playing... I've, I've, I've been dipping in and out of Jedi Fallen Order again. That's cool. Um, okay. Really enjoying that. I've been playing some FIFA. I've also been playing some eFootball. I've been playing it... On, I play eFootball online. And okay. it's a much better game then if you play it offline firstly you can have games that are longer than like two and a half minutes a half um but i've been doing like the campaign stuff um so basically when they launch version 1.0 in 2027 um i'll have a, a bunch of coins to be able to buy players and those that haven't played it and they want to jump on the bandwagon will not have and i'll have an amazing team and they won't and that's good but um, so I've been playing that and actually really enjoying it. The The last update they did was actually made the game v way more playable. So, yeah, yeah, there's that. But I've been, <laughs> yeah, I've been playing a bunch of bunch of different stuff. Just just having a good time. Just having a good time gaming. Awesome. Yeah. yeah oh, good I've stuff. been playing Pokemon Legends. Uh, I don't know how you say it. Arceus? It's Arceus. It looks like it's supposed to be pronounced Arceus. That's what I've already said. But no, apparently it is Arceus. Arceus. Right. So I've good been job. playing that. <laughs> yeah, it looks and really it's good. really, it's really good. Yeah, the reviews have been really, really uh, high, which surprised me. Actually, I was expecting it to be like kind of in the middle of the road, but no, it's been yeah. super, super, super popular. And God damn it, that's another game to add to my backlog. 
Yeah. Yeah. Every time, every time <laughs> I go onto my Switch at the minute, and like my friends list pops up, uh, basically everyone's playing that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. This is the sort of Pokemon game I've wanted for since I was a kid. Like, I wanted like a proper Pokemon game on a on a console. That's not just the same thing. Not just a handheld. Yeah same thing again and again um and we had pokemon sword and shield but again it wasn't on the console but it was still the same as it was like the past well like 20 years now yeah um, they're basically just ports of older games aren't they but this <laughs> one much. is a fresh take on it i mean it's still very mm. much pokemon you know you're still doing the same kind of stuff uh, but it's it's obviously big and it's open and the way things work is it's just the way that they've reimagined the the battles and the way that you capture the Pokemon themselves and the way you fill your Pokedex out, it's just its just really, they've just done it in such a good way where it's addictive and it makes, you know, catching multiple types of the same Pokemon not seem very pointless. Mm. Yeah. And they've, done it in, they've done it in a way where, you know, um, to, to actually fill the Pokedex, you've got to, uh, you know, there's there's so many you've got to defeat, there's so many you've got to capture, there's so many you've got to evolve, and uh, th this is of the same type. So, you know, there's obviously hundred, there's obviously loads of Pokemon on there. So the game could literally last for absolutely hours, but it's really really good, and I'm really really enjoying myself. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing when we finish this podcast tonight. I'm going to go and oh, play yeah. Pokemon Legends Arceus because I'm very much into it at the minute. It's just so. So it's easy to pick up and play as well. Like mm. the the tutorial is convoluted and ridiculous because it's not complicated. <laughs> yeah. The game itself isn't complicated, but it makes it sound more complicated than it is. So the tutorial, once you've got that out of the way and the game opens up and you figure it out, um, it's just so good. And I think you'll you'll really love it. Um, yeah. I really love it. I think it's great. And it's uh, I liked Let's Go Pikachu a lot. I finished it. Um, I've got um, Shining Pearl. And I played Sword or Shield, I can't remember which one. Um, and they're good. They are, but this is better. Yeah, I know. This is like uh, another level of, of good. This is the direction that the Pokemon games should go in from now on because yeah, for sure. it, it just works so well. And, the, 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 you know, they just definitely should. Like a, a new Pokemon game, um, you know, because also this is going back in time uh, with, with the setting, like before Pokemon were as they are in the mo more modern game, if, if that makes sense. Ooh. Yeah, right. yeah. So you don't, you, you know, usually you sort of, you beat the gym leaders, you get the badges, and you can take them to the Pokemon Center and all this sort of stuff. There's none of that. It's very much sort of set in the past before all of that. Uh, humans are scared of Pokemons. They don't really figure them out. And what you're basically completing is a very rudimentary Pokedex. That's why you need to gather so much information. Yeah, um, makes sense. But yeah, like if they did it with a modern setting, I think it'd be great. But this the setting that it's in now is is really really good as well. That's very cool. Uh, yeah, last one I played was Let's Go Eevee, uh, which I really liked a lot because it, it was like Gem One, a lot of nostalgia there for me. Um, and it's 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 both you know it's similar to normal games, but it's only unique twist to it, which I really enjoyed. Um, I skipped Sword and Shield and Shining Pearl and whatever it was, just because they had like brilliant same diamond. Mod. That's the one. Because uh, it's like same old, same old. It's like, ah, uh, I'm kind of over that. I can't start a Pokemon game now. Uh, but this looks really, really yeah. good. I can't wait to jump in at some point. Yeah, I think you'll really enjoy it. There's a lot to it, and it's just um, it's just a lot of fun. And it, it's the different things that you can do, and it just sink the hooks in. Yeah. Definitely. Like one character I met yesterday, they were like, oh, here you go. You can have this rock, and you can collect these shining purple things. And there's 103 of them. And there's one over there. That's what they look like. So you go and collect that one. And they're like, well, there you go. Off you, off you pop. Go and collect <laughs> the rest. You're like, you fucking piece of shit. You've got me now. Now I've got to go and do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just, it's just the way that these games are made. And uh, it's really, really good. I can't, I'm, I'm very high on it at the minute. So, yeah. That's cool. Excellent. Yeah. Good stuff. I've, I've been playing some other stuff as well, but I can't remember. That's the main <laughs> things that I've been playing. Uncharted, plowing through that to get to four, which I'm now playing. Um, and yeah, that's what we're doing. Cool. Good oh yeah, I wanted to mention. Uh, I was looking at talking to Game Pass earlier. I was looking at uh, the X Cloud, which I forgot was even a thing. <laughs> it's oh, like yeah. a Xbox streaming service. I was going through it. There's a ton of games on there. I tried it out. I tried Halo, and that was really good. Literally just press play, takes a few seconds to load, and boom, you're playing Halo. I tried some mm. Forza. I tried some. It was like some Banjo Kazooie. Also <laughs> was on there. And it all looks really, really well. It's like very little input lag. It looks yeah. good. 
It doesn't look like as good as it would like if you're playing it from an Xbox or a PC. No. It's a bit of haze. It looks like it basically looks like you're watching a YouTube video of yourself playing a video game. <laughs> but um, it, it works pretty well. So I wanted to say, hey, if you don't have an Xbox and you want to try, you know, want to play Halo or Pause or whatever, give it a try. It's a good time. Mm. Absolutely, yeah. I think it's yeah, really, really cool. good. I mean, it's probably, I mean, I, I've played Stadia and it's fine, but it's not as good as the X Cloud. Yeah, I, um, Stadia, I, I played PlayStation now when it was just streaming and not downloads. Um, yeah. And it was fine, but this is really good. This is, I feel like this is, um, I mean, it is further advanced than any of those other things. And, and, you know, those other things will catch up. But at the minute, X Cloud is really good. So, yeah, if you haven't got an Xbox and you do want to try Forza or Halo or whatever, um, it's definitely worth looking at. And it runs yeah. just brilliantly on um, like mobile devices and shit like that. Yeah, it's amazing. I'm super impressed. You can get controller like add-ons as well for your um, for your like mobile device to make it even more playable, which is great. So yeah, yeah, awesome. So yeah, so that's that. That's what we've been playing. Yeah, it's been a fun, a fun few weeks, fun month. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, this <sighs> we're going to do games of the month, um, but before we do that, I just want to ask you guys. What your opinions are of the acquisitions um, mm. of Sony? I absolutely have acquired Bungie for uh, more money than you know the the entire country is probably worth. Um, billion, and obviously, Microsoft have bought Activision Blizzard for um, even more money than that. Finn, I'll start <laughs> with you. What, what do you think of all this? I mean, I've seen mixed opinions on it and stuff. Uh, me personally, I couldn't give two shits. It is what it is. Um, <laughs> yeah. What do you think? I can see why people uh, are a bit worried about it because you know once you know the two companies own you know so you know, Sony own half the companies, Microsoft own the other half. It's like only two companies own all the studios. Um, they can get a bit sound a bit like an, of a monopoly, which can be a bad thing. But there's still you know hundreds and hundreds of game developers out there that aren't bought by either of them. So I think we're going to be okay. Um, I can't see Call of Duty being exclusive to anything because they're worth so much money. I must not lose yeah. out on so much money if they don't put it on PlayStation. Yeah. Um, obviously, there will be a lot of you know, exclusive Xbox and PS4 games, or PS4, PS5, um, which, you know, is what it is. That's how it was, you know, when we were growing up, like during like Mega Drive, Super Nintendo, all the way up to like PS3 and 360. Um, so it's not a big issue, you know? It is it is what it is. It'll carry on. Yeah. No one, you know, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, I mean, Destiny's it's, not yeah. going to be just exclusive to the PlayStation. No, because it does gonna... numbers. It does massive, massive numbers. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, they might make a some sort of Destiny spin-off or something that'll be played exclusive, or some new IP. But the main games, you know, Call of Duty, still Destinies, and all that will speed still multi-platform. Oh yeah, I, I I think that's going to be the case one hundred percent. Because yeah. otherwise, you know, I mean, it makes perfect sense for Call of Duty because Microsoft own. Activision and own Call of Duty, it makes more sense if they want to make more money out of their acquisition to let it still be multi-platform. You know, yeah, yeah Activision, it's like, uh, you know, Bethesda are going to make games that are specific to Xbox. Yeah. And Activision will do the same, no doubt about it. Just like I'm sure Bungie will um, eventually make something that's exclusive to PlayStation. But as long as the, the main draws are multi-platform, um, I don't really see it being such a big deal you know exclusives are always happening and yeah. you know if if the xbox is your main console of choice then look at the games that you're missing out on you're missing out on uncharted you're missing out on horizon god of war gran turismo the you know the all of these great single player experiences you've got a playstation you know you can't play halo you can't play forza um you know and so on and so forth it's it just it is what it is. I mean, yep, these are sort of very well-known third-party game makers. But Call mm. of Duty is not going anywhere. Call of Duty is yeah. not going to all of a sudden become a, a, an Xbox game. It could, and they could do that, but it'd be in Microsoft's best interest to to not have that happen because money. <laughs> yeah, very much. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just all about money. But like if one of them bought EA, I heard that EA was up for sale. You know, or uh, could be one of the acquisitions. 
like they're not going to bring FIFA out on everything. <laughs> yeah. You know? It's just, it's just not going to happen, is it? <laughs> yeah. You know, EA, if it were to happen, one of them bought EA. EA would make maybe exclusive games for one, and so them games won't appear on the other. But it's not a big thing. I don't, I don't think it's anything that anybody needs to be worried about or needs to be concerned with. You know, yeah. a lot of the people saying, like when Microsoft bought Activision, for example, there was a lot of negativity surrounding it. Um, half these people don't play fucking Call of Duty anyway. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, I don't know. Well, I know what you mean, yeah, because it's, it's just going to be the same as it's always been since the dawn of gaming. There's going to be certain games, yeah. this can't stop certain games and that. It's like, it's no different than it's always been. And it's just like, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Deal with it. It's like, oh, my, Microsoft owned Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. Here's, yeah, well, here's news for you. Crash Bandicoot has been slagging it around on other consoles for <laughs> years now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the last you know? Crash Bandicoot games have been on everything. And Spyro and, you know. Spyro yeah. was in fucking Skylanders, which is on everything. You know, it's not a case of... It's like... It doesn't, yeah. It's not a thing. Yeah. It's the... Um, you know, Chris mentioned in Discord, like, um, Microsoft now own, you know, Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. Which is like obviously PlayStation things, and now PlayStation own Bungie, which is like a Halo thing. It's like they swap places, yeah. which is quite funny. But uh, yeah, but yeah, you know, but, you know, Crash Bandicoot might be Xbox exclusive now. That's fine, you know. But yeah, but will whatever. it be though? But will it be? You know, yeah, that's the thing. Will it be? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think Everyone's just might be, making but... assumptions, but that, you know, straight so quick to just jump to the assumption that oh, that's it now. Uh, Xbox mm-hmm. is going to lock everything that Activision have got away forever. That's yeah. it. You know. No. Um, and that, that isn't going to be the case. And yeah, same know. with PlayStation. They, they could just make fucking Destiny a PlayStation exclusive, and that's it. Yeah. Again, but they're not going to do that, are they? No. Even if you know, Crash does end up being exclusive, you know, it was exclusive to PlayStation back in the day. So why is it a big deal exactly, now? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's so many things. I mean... At the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. The gaming industry is strong, possibly the strongest it's ever been in terms of, um, you know, being a money-making art form. Mm. Um, people worry, people overthink these things way too much, you know. Um, yeah. Look, you can still be able to play your precious card. You'll still be <laughs> able to play Destiny. You know, anything that you want to play, you will be able to have access to it somehow, some way. Yeah. And you won't have change. to go out and buy all the consoles. You know, not everyone's yeah. as lucky as us. Obviously, we've got between us all the consoles or whatever. But, you know, you're not going to have to do that if you want to play all the games. No. You know, I mean, you can have a PlayStation and have xCloud, probably on your TV at some point. Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> you know, it is it is what it is, you know. <clears throat> and if xCloud is going to have the Microsoft exclusives, then you've got nothing to worry about, have you? Exactly. Yeah, honestly, you just want to play Crash Bandicoot, pay ten pound a month to stream it. <laughs> but yeah, but people are making a big deal of it. I don't see it being a big deal going forward. So people will forget about it. It'll be a thing. And it's like, whatever. It's just yeah. Normal. Until Skyrim comes out, and it only comes out on Xbox and well, Elder Scrolls. Sorry, not Skyrim, yeah. but the, uh, <laughs> the yeah, the new Elder Scrolls comes out, and only Xbox people can play it. Yeah, people people have a wobbly, a wobbly. That's to say. I look, I, I look forward to that meltdown. That's going to be Sprashing. cool. Steve, what do you make of it all? <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know, you're not, you're not as deep into all of this as as we are. We've been talking about this shit on the podcast for years and years. But what, what do you, what do you make of all of this? Obviously, for, as an outsider, not an outsider, but as yeah, yeah, um, yeah, somebody who doesn't read into this as much as we do, um, what do you make of it all? I think Finn's taken the words out of my mouth, really. It's like, hasn't this always been a thing? That certain games are on certain consoles, you know? I had a PS1 as a kid. I didn't have an N64. So I couldn't play Goldeneye. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just that sort of thing. And and maybe I'm maybe I'm looking not looking at it in the same way that you guys do. And when I see people tweeting and saying and, and messages and stuff saying, well, it's bad for the gaming industry. I, I can't get my head around. Well, what's bad about it? I just don't. Yeah. I don't understand what's bad. It's bad for the consumer, is it? I, I don't. I don't get. And that might be my ignorance. That might be me being a little bit thick. I just don't. No, I'm you know, with you. I, I hear stuff like you know, oh, it's bad for the for the independent game. It's not. I just no, don't see how it is. <laughs> you know, if you make an independent game that is amazing, people will play it. 
Yeah. Across the world. Look at all the successful way of playing indie it. games that are out. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And and like you say, you know, your games like Card and Destiny, they are too popular to just be exclusive to a console, is the way that I and, sort of look at it. You know, and, and the and big I, wigs at Microsoft and the big wigs at PlayStation, they know this. Yeah. Of course they do. Of course they do. They're not bloody... Yeah. That's why Microsoft and Sony, PlayStation, whatever, are, are as big as they are. You know, they're, they're not They're not stupid. You know, they make these acquisitions because they know that it will make them money and it's the right thing to do. I, I mean... Well, it's, it's I, either I, that. I mean, if these companies are up for sale, there's a reason they're up for sale. I mean, it's either they get bought by somebody or they go out of business, potentially. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So you're saving them. And... and I might be, this might be a really, really bad example, but I'm going to say it anyway. I find that with with gaming, as a, air quotes, outsider looking in, that with gaming, it is kind of a little bit like wrestling. You, you, you're going to please one half and not please the other. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, but, and everything's under the microscope. In terms of in terms of gaming, oh, they've done that. Oh, well, they've done that. And oh, they've reacted by doing that. These sorts of things where businesses are going to go bust and they're up for sale, they get bought by other businesses. It happens in, I'm going to say, the real world. You know, It does, yeah. Some, some of the shops and businesses that you know and love and probably buy from because you really like their product, whether it's trainers, whether it's uh, cars, whether it's you know clothes, food, whatever, if you actually looked at who they were owned by, you'd be like, oh, I didn't. I didn't even realise. <laughs> but when it's gaming, oh, they're owned by them. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, look what they're doing. They're ruining gaming. I, 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 I don't get it. I don't get it. And maybe, maybe no. I'm making myself sound really stupid by no, by, by making those not. comparisons. But you know, and and I, you know, again, I've seen the argument of well, not everyone could afford an Xbox and a PlayStation. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate mm-hmm. that. But you know the like you've just said the the big big games. You know if you are a uber casual gamer and you're like I play FIFA and COD, you've got nothing to worry about. You really no, have got, got nothing, nothing to, worry to worry about. about at all. Absolutely nothing to worry about. You know I, I currently don't. I mean, I've got a PS4, but I don't I don't play it uh, because I've got the Xbox. And I know I'm missing out on all those games that you mentioned, all those PlayStation exclusives. I don't sit and cry about it. Yeah. I think to myself, okay, yeah, I'm missing out on it. Oh, but, but I've got Game Pass. It's fine. And vice versa. You know, you know, if I was sat there with a PlayStation with all these exclusives, I was like, oh, fucking hell, I can't play Forza. Oh, well, never mind. I'll just get on with it. You know, yeah. maybe it's an age thing. Maybe it's because I have different priorities in life than some people. Um, well, it'll be that. It'll be that. It's it'll, not you know. the end of the world for me. Um, and... You know, I currently own an Xbox because the price point for a casual gamer such as myself, the, the price point of a Series S and the price of, of Game Pass is something that I couldn't pass up. I was all for getting a PS5, and I will get a PS5 at some point. Um, but going back to the to the main topic, I just, I don't know, maybe it's just a gaming thing. People get their basement dwellers, just get their... Uh, Knickers in there's a lot of there's a lot of gate gatekeeping involved with gaming. Yeah. You know, um, PlayStation fans will be happy that they've acquired Bungie, um, but they'll be pissed off at Microsoft for, for acquiring Activision and vice versa. Uh, you know, Xbox there's fans a lot of hypocrisy Sony. as well. There is, yeah, but, but that's from both sides. I, I mean, and then you've got Nintendo there going, "Hey, oh hey, we've mm-hmm. got Mario. Oh, you want yeah, to be on your console? Uh, no, go fuck yourself. We just yeah, on the say. Switch. Just buy that instead." Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, no one's saying, oh, why isn't Mario on the PlayStation? I want Mario no. on Pokemon. So it's just Nintendo do being Nintendo, isn't it? Yeah, the it's console like, war, you know, it's a stupid thing anyway, and it has been a stupid thing for years. But it only it, it only sort of, uh, you know, it's for two companies, Microsoft and Sony. Nintendo's mm-hmm. never in the conversation because, you know, they don't give a shit. They're selling, <laughs> they're, they're selling a, a, a ton of Switch consoles all the yeah. time. Yeah. They're selling a ton of games all the time. They don't care. And they're yep. not going to bow down and conform either. They don't bother that Call of Duty is not on the Switch because the Switch is going to sell a shitload. 
Yeah, they have Pokemon. Who cares? <laughs> exactly, Pokemon, and no, Mario, no one else does. Yeah, and Zelda. Yeah, I, I, I think it's, it feels to me like, look, I, if you are that big of a gamer that you are bothered by something like this, then you will find a way to own all of the consoles so you <laughs> can play all of the games. And that's just yeah. the way, I, I mean, maybe, again, maybe I'm being ignorant. No, you're not. But it's just the way it is. And if you are sat there and you are, I, I will never buy a Xbox or I will never buy a PlayStation, then that's that's on you. That's a you, know, you problem. Yeah. That's yeah. a you problem. That's not, that's not, uh, that's not fair. They bought them. Well, buy the console then. Oh, yeah. I don't like them. I don't like them though. Well, well, shut up then. Yeah, yeah. Also, I mean, you know, Finn, Finn's, Finn's a PlayStation guy. He's openly said it, but you know, we were around talking at mine the other day, and he was like, "Well, yeah, I'll get an Xbox Series X yeah. because Game Pass." Yeah, Game Pass. And it's just know, more convenient yeah. than sort of playing it on a PC. Yeah, because you, you're getting the full experience on your Xbox, and you know, it's just, it, you know, I've got a PS5, an Xbox Series X, and a Nintendo Switch because I, I, I don't want to miss out on these experiences. Of course. Yeah, makes sense. Does everybody can everybody be in that position to have all three? No, of course not. And nor would I expect everyone to be in that position. But you know, at the end of the day, whichever one you've got, you fucking deal with it. There's so <laughs> many games out there to play now that you know. Yeah, just because you're if you're you're a COD fan, and if COD isn't coming to your console of choice, find something else to play that's very similar to Call of Duty. There's many, many online multiplayer FPS games out there. You'll yeah. find something. Yeah, also Warzone's not going anywhere. That's always Warzone's be... not going anywhere. No. So even if the, yeah, even if your mainstay Call of Duty games did become an Xbox exclusive, Warzone's going nowhere. Yeah, I can round yeah. forever. Yeah, I mean, look, these acquisitions to to the likes of us and the people on the internet who were complaining about it all, um, it isn't going to affect them, I don't think. No. You know, exactly. I, it's not going to affect them at all. It just isn't. No. Um, also, this competition, and you know, they're going to make games better. It's like, oh, we want more people to buy a PlayStation. Uh, we don't have well, Call of Duty or whatever anymore. We need to make it's our own big, huge Call of Duty killer. You know, games are going to get better because of it, because everyone needs to, yeah. be able to compete with each other. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. If you've got if you've got Bungie, one of the best um, first person shooter makers in the world, they 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 make currently one of the biggest and most played games in the entire world. Yeah. You know, I'm sure they can pull something out of their ass that competes with Call <laughs> of Duty on Xbox. You know. Yeah. yeah. If Xbox if was to that, yeah. say, yeah, exa- exactly. You know, just like. Grand, the new Gran Turismo looks phenomenal. Yeah, you know that mm-hmm. that's their competition for Forza. There's all there's always that. There's always the that 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 sort of thing. The the competition, yeah, it's there. But both studios are requiring, sorry, both companies are requiring studios that can make the best games to benefit them. Yeah. So yeah, make money off you make make money off the big third parties and let these great studios also make exclusives for the consoles. Yeah, exactly. and the thing is, is we 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 we're not, and nobody really is, unless you work for those studios. You're not privy to what has actually been said. You know, no. just because how you know we, we don't know whether someone at Microsoft has gone into Activision and said, "Look, we've we've bought you to save you," uh, um, uh, and but. We're going to make it a, a better working environment. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. But effectively, you're just going to be doing the same as what you did last week. Yeah, just yeah. crack on. Because all the games that you make, they're, they're just going to come out on all consoles anyway. It's just that, yeah. you know, you've got a different a different name above the door, so to speak. Yeah, but we, you know, and then it'll be sort of, uh, but we want, you know, by this year or, you know, by a certain year for to have a game that's exclusive to Xbox, pitches your ideas, that kind of thing. Mm, and it'd be the same over at, at PlayStation with the, the studios that they've acquired. You know, they've got Insomniac. They've got, you know, they make phenomenal games. But, yeah. you know, yeah. I'm not sitting here as an... If I was an Xbox owner, I wouldn't be sitting there going, oh, for fuck's sake, they bought Insomniac, so now I can't play Spider-Man. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. It's, <laughs> it's, it's just that thing. You know, it's when massive amounts of money are being thrown around. People hate it. And especially when it's not their team doing it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
let's use football as an example. Newcastle are buying fucking loads of players at the minute. Uh, uh, Man United, the team I support, have bought nobody. And, <laughs> you know, you, it's a jealousy thing as well. If the, your team aren't, you know, doing the big business. Yeah. It's, 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 it's very much a... Um, look, at the end of the day, it isn't going to affect us. It just isn't. No. Nah. No. Won't affect us in the slightest. And um, it's you're not going to have anything to worry about. Um, it's like when, like when Xbox acquired Bethesda. I, I actually could not give a shit about that. Like, I don't <laughs> really play Bethesda games anyway. Yeah. It means nothing to me. But yeah, it's like, you know, it's fine. Yeah, I wouldn't have bothered. Obviously, um, Elder Scrolls probably going to be an exclusive. That's fine. I'll you know, put up an Xbox by then. If not, I'll play it on next cloud or whatever. You know, there's always going to be a way to play them. I just have you talking about earlier. If, yeah, it's no big deal. Yeah, even if Call of Duty was an Xbox exclusive, I wouldn't give a shit. If yeah. I had a PlayStation and they said, "Yeah, you're not going to get Call of Duty," I'd be like, "Okay." Plenty of games out there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll just play something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because it doesn't matter. Is it going to kill the gaming industry? No. The gaming no. industry is going to continue to flourish and the studio is going to continue to make a shit ton of money and uh, games are still going to be released and we're still going to pay 70 quid for games. And it is what it is. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the, game, the gaming industry is making more money than uh, the music and film industry combined and has done yep. for a very, very long time. It's mad, uh, thanks to Grand Theft Auto 5. Yep. GTG. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. You know, that isn't just going to stop overnight. Of course it isn't. And, yeah. Uh, we, look, we, you know, we, we've said, we, we, we talked about it in Discord the other day. Um, I think we've pretty much covered all bases here. It's It shouldn't matter enough to people for them to go onto the internet and, you know, share their piece. Yeah, because it is, at the end of the day, it just isn't <clears throat> going to affect you enough for you to for it to for you to do that. Yeah, it doesn't matter as much as you think it does. Internet. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> it, it does not matter as much as you think it does. You hit the nail on the head there. It's not yeah. going to affect you on a personal level, so you don't need to be sitting there fuming that your team hasn't bought um, a gaming company, uh, because at the end of the day, it's not going to affect your life. Yeah, exactly. It's not going to affect your gaming. <laughs> it's not going to affect your wallet. It's not going to affect anything. Just shut up. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> well, that's that covered. Yeah, we've covered it. We did, we've, we've set our pieces. Uh, anyway, you can buy the brand new Games and Graps NFTs. We're uh, <laughs> selling them. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I still don't really know what it is. And, uh, Fucking NFTs. Uh, yeah. non, I like it. Non, that everyone's non-fungible token. On it. Everyone's like backtracking on it. Like, oh, I've um, started. We're going to be doing NFTs. It's going to be brilliant. The internet's like, <laughs> you fucking sellout piece of shit. And then they're like, um, after uh, much consideration, <laughs> I've decided to not go ahead with said uh, NFTs. Um, yeah. And I'm sorry for any offence that I've caused. <laughs> yeah, and I, I saw, that's, 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 that's the incident uh, these last two weeks. I, I saw um, <laughs> something, something quite similar to this whole gaming console wars acquisition quest, whatever you want to call it. Um, there was a, as a well, the pub, the YMH podcast. They are now mm. they've teamed up with an NFT company that do NFTs. You could buy NFTs of their podcast. It's been going for like 10, 12 years. So there's a lot of things, you know, clips and digital thing that you can own. And there's loads of people in the comments arguing and arguing and arguing. So, oh, well, what, they're, they're a sellout, they're a sellout, they're a sellout. And, and and one comment said, I've been listening to this podcast for 10 years and not once have I wanted to buy a sat of a mattress. So I'm not <laughs> going to want to buy an NFT anytime soon. Yeah. <laughs> Just because they're promoting it doesn't mean you have to go and buy it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's, well, that's it. Yeah, I mean, it's a I way to make money. People are no, and it, you know what? And it's so true. Like right? nobody, we can advertise stuff on this podcast. Nobody would buy it because no one gives a shit, right? People are <laughs> listening to this podcast for the content within the podcast. Um, 
and you're right. I listen to YMH podcast. I have no interest in buying a fucking mattress or one of them watch things that they talk about. <laughs> I couldn't care less. I'm there no. for the podcast and the content within. Exactly, you know, if people yeah. want to buy pictures of monkeys wearing different clothes, that's their fucking problem. So you know, if they've got that much money that they want to blow millions of pounds or dollars or whatever on a picture of a monkey that they think might look like them because they wear similar clothes, that's their problem. Let yeah, them fucking blow their money. It's, it's, it's the Who thought gives of, a shit? It's the thought of one day this will be worth millions of pounds. It, no, it won't. It's a fucking JPEG of a monkey. An ugly picture yeah. of a money. <laughs> You've got the about? best quality picture of that monkey. Congratulations. I've got an NFT. Well, yeah, there, just, you go. Yeah, there you go. I've that's just got, that's I've exactly just got what I'm one. talking about. I've yeah, just got one. So I just, went, I just went onto Travis Barker's uh, Twitter, went onto his profile picture, screenshot it. I've got your NFT, bitch. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I know that's it doesn't it. work it's... like that. I know it doesn't work like that. But, <laughs> yeah. but the, 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 the thing is, it's, you know, if that's what strange, rich people want to spend their money on, you know, they're all about uh, what's that fucking game that's coming out um, on Xbox? It's been put back now. Something to do with Chernobyl, anyway. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh Stalker, yeah. yeah. Stalker. Yeah, that yeah, Stalker, Stalker two, um, and yeah. then we're going to sort of have some sort of NFT implementation uh, implementation in there. But they weren't they wouldn't have forced you to 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 purchase NFTs. Yeah, it wasn't going to halt more... your progress in the game. It wasn't going to you. It wasn't going <laughs> to stop you obtaining a thousand gamer score or a platinum trophy or whatever. But I think Purchase it's more NFT. to do with. <laughs> I think it's more to do with like the impact on the environment and things like uh, chip shortages and things like that. And it just it's just a bad time all around for things like that. It's the same with like crypto bollocks and all that. Um, but yeah, it's it is what it is. It's like. We can't stop it. I think Team 17, like the guys behind Worms, recently did what Bill's we talking about, announced it. I yeah. Everyone hated it. So actually, no, it, it's just kidding. Ah. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, yeah, well, we're not really uh, going to do it. We were just, we were just seeing your reaction. Testing, <laughs> Fuck, testing we're going to make millions of dollars. <laughs> it's, it's just, you know, if, if somebody wants to get into that business, just fucking let them. You know, yeah. there's a good chance that the market for that could crash and people will just lose all the money that they've fucking spunked on monkey pictures. Hey, remember <laughs> when, w- when WWE did it? They're doing NFTs for like five minutes. Well, they were the first ones, weren't they? Like the... Yeah, remember that? Oh, yeah, they were doing like the Undertaker, Undertaker or John Cena Undertaker. NFTs or something. Yeah, Undertaker about that John, NFTs. About that John Cena one, it cost like a stupid amount of money. They came with a t shirt that sold like in the single figures. And like. Yeah. <laughs> And I think John Cena said something online on some podcast or something like it was the worst mistake, like the biggest failure they've had in WWE ever. And to, to, <laughs> to like lost so much money doing it. It's like that's saying yeah. something. Yeah, <laughs> it's saying yeah, something. It yeah. Is. It's like, well, there you go. That's NFTs. Yeah, just in my opinion, I mean, when I see people having a meltdown about NFTs on on Twitter, which is let's be fair, daily, I yeah, just yeah. thought I'm like, why does this matter to you? Yeah. Like, what? Why? What does them? Why does it matter to you? That's what I'm so confused about. Th- that's my big thing. I-, I think that about a lot of things, to be honest. Like, why does this matter to you? Why does yeah. somebody else doing something matter to you? Yeah, just yeah, it's whatever. It doesn't. It doesn't you know what I mean, though. It's, it's just way, like yeah. you know, people complain about everything, but it's it's you know, why does it matter to you? Yeah, I'm with you. Who knows? You know, we're too old to care uh, about these but things. Just, PlayStation <laughs> buy Bungie. Oh fucking hour, uh, but why does it matter to you? Oh, Eminem's bought a spent millions of dollars on a picture of a monkey. Great, good for him. Why does it matter to you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's got nothing else to spend it on. He's probably got everything. It's just the yeah. it's just the it's just the newest thing to uh to come along for rich people to go, ah, I got a bit of spare money. I'll I'll get into this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Joe Rogan's got an opinion on COVID. Why does it matter to you? He can be a fucking moron, but that's him yeah. being a moron. You know, yeah. if anything, you complaining about him being an idiot is promoting his podcast even more. So yeah. therefore, like, you're oh, part yeah. of the problem. That's why these Hell people yeah. do these things. So like, uh, you know, people hate me, but hey, people are, you know, more than, know I exist now. And, you know, exactly. <laughs> that's why they do it. Wipe it out and Games and graps and N- NFTs inbound. Yeah. It's gonna be pictures of monkeys that look like the three of us, and yeah. they're gonna, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna be, we when we when we've done it and we've sold them, we're not even gonna do this podcast anymore. We're gonna yeah. do no streams, nothing. We're just gonna Scrooge McDuck 
diving board <laughs> into a fucking vault of money. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Coming soon. <laughs> but seriously, like, just stop worrying about shit that doesn't matter. Nah. Yeah. Life's too short to worry about this crap. Exactly. Enjoy life. Don't don't spend your money on NFTs if you don't want to. Spend your money on the games that we're about to talk about that are coming out this month. There's a seamless transition into segue. games of the month. Perfect segue. I need to remember how to actually do this now. Uh, duh, duh, <laughs> thank you. I'm using a different browser, so it's different. Uh, Opera tab. I'm using, I'm using Opera now. It's cool. Opera? Uh, mm, it's like oh! a game. <laughs> it's uh, Opera GX. It's like a gaming thing. It's cool. Are you That's, nerd? I know. <laughs> God, you nerd. I know, right? You know, it integrates like Discord and Twitter and things into it. It doesn't matter. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, I saw that um, uh, PlayStation now has Discord um, stuff. I linked my yeah, PlayStation that... account to it earlier what? on. What? How dare yeah, me... they? Uh, yeah, me too. Now I'll show you what game you're playing at the time. It's pretty cool. Great. I can't wait to... Uh, can't wait to for Discord to see that I'm playing Hatsune Miku uh, uh, <laughs> like an embarrassing piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, like that time you were playing uh, Rumble Roses on, <laughs> on your Xbox. Yeah, exactly like that. Exactly <laughs> like that. Like a, <laughs> like a pervert. Yeah, but she does a wrong. really good she does a really good Michinoku driver. Yeah, that's exactly why you're playing it. <laughs> yeah. wrong with that. Got my Rumble Roses NFT. <laughs> if you know what an NFT is, I don't care. No, I guess. It's JPEGs. Uh, right, so let's go to the game. I know. Let's go to the games of the month of February 2020. Let's do it. We've we you know we've covered bases today. We have base. <laughs> base. We, we've covered what the internet's been arguing about for two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In less than an hour. Less than an hour. <laughs> cool. All right, let's go through it. So, on so the speaking first... of things that people are going to argue about, games of the month. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. So yesterday, as of recording this, Life is Strange Remastered Collection came out on. Everything. That's yep. cool. I, I haven't actually played uh, Life is Strange, so maybe I'll pick this one up. Oh, you've not? I've not, no. I missed out. Oh, oh come on, Finn. I know, I suck. There's too what, many games. Why today. have you not played it? It's got, it's got, you know what? It's so good. It's got a great story, uh, and it's got a, a really phenomenal soundtrack as well. That's cool. Yeah, it's definitely one I'll check out at some point, probably. Maybe not. Easy Platinum as well. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll definitely play it. That's definitely my kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, okay. I sold it. <laughs> you sold it, yeah. But no, it's my kind of thing. Oh, it's kind of thing, so. For sure. If NFTs with Platinum trophies, fit is in there. Yeah, man, I'll, I'll be loaded. I'll be retired tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> um, another big one, Dying Light 2, comes out in a couple of days, on the 4th. Yeah, mixed reviews. Interesting so far. Uh, to, yeah. to, to be quite honest, it's exactly what I expected from the reviews. Me personally, I wasn't a, a huge fan of the first one, so this one doesn't really appeal to me in the slightest. But um, hey, look, uh, big fan base. Well, people have been waiting for it for a, a very, very long time. So people are, you know, are very excited for it. But it looks okay. Yeah, I want to play the first one sometime soon because um, it looks really fun. I want to give it a try. Apparently, it's aged really well. And all, all like the patches and things were really good. It works really smoothly now. Did, did they good. do like a, an update patch for con new consoles, or am I making that um, up? They were talking about it like months ago um, that they were doing it, but it's still nothing so far. So maybe it'll come out okay. now that this is out. I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. But yeah, hasn't it come out on Switch or um, like the first <laughs> one? Um, yeah, I think it was like a, a stream, a streamable one, whatever. Oh, they call that. It. No. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts collection recently did that, which is weird because the games um, that the games that were on there were originally on like PS2. Just like, do you really need to stream those? Yeah, I know. Clean up the sport. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and um, Guardians of the Galaxy as well. I mean, yeah, okay, that's a oh, yeah. fairly hefty game, so I understand that. But yeah. I don't know. I just played... bring it out on Switch, I guess. Yeah, I just played the demo for Kingdom Hearts. Um, it worked all right. It worked all right. Oh, you did the right. streaming thing? Yeah, if you yeah, that's the only way you got to play Kingdom Hearts. If you know, it works perfectly well. Oh, it does. Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, then. It works all right. I'm trying to think what else um, they they uh, Resident Evil I think they did Resident Evil Village yeah something like that not Village um, Resident Evil Seven Biohazard whatever the fuck I don't know yeah <laughs> one of them yeah. yeah it works okay if that's any way you've got to play this game it's it's perfectly acceptable mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what else we got uh, Ollie Ollie World yeah it's skateboarding uh, uh, first game really excited really for this. yeah like a two D skateboarding game really fun. Looks nice. Expect you know. streams of this. <laughs> Absolutely, very cool, light, 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 friendly uh, art style, like cartoony. I like it. 
with yeah. you. It looks like they've uh, changed it up quite a lot um, in terms of the the art style, and you can create characters now and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I, I really, really can't wait for this. I'm definitely going to stream it. I love those games, and this is one I'm personally really excited for. This yeah. is a hell of a month, by the way. I'm um, insane, insane, biggest month in a long time. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? Death Note Week Rest Two. That's okay. I know you won't have heard of it. <laughs> it's a, what are you talking about, Finn? This is one of my <laughs> favorite game series of all time. Oh, of course. Um, it's, so it's a What's PS4 it called, game. <laughs> Death and We Crest 2. Yes, it's a stupid title. Yeah. Um, <laughs> JRPG. It's been out for ages on PS4. Uh, it's it's a fun time. It's cool. It looks like that. Uh, they all look like that. Anime. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. I can have it. The thing is, there's a huge market driving. for these games, you know. Um, so th that's why they keep getting made. Yeah. So made many by, just uh, random RPGs out there. It's crazy. Yeah, there's a few different companies like this. Like it's Idea Factory, one uh, NIS. They all, all like churn out loads and loads of these kind of games. And uh, mm. for the most part, they're pretty good. They're not like 10 out of 10, like Persona 5s or anything like that. But they're, you know, solid games. Worth checking out if you're a weeb like me. <laughs> Uh, the next big game is must be uh, Sifu coming to uh, oh, PS5. Yeah, PC. man. I'm again. This is another one that I'm really excited for. This is one that I've had my eye on for uh, a while when it was first announced. It just looks yeah. so cool, and the idea of it is great. So basically, it's it's the game is basically going to reward you for getting better every all the time. Mm -hmm. So you get your ass kicked, you die, you start again as a different person. Yeah, it's very cool. And well, it looked it looks great. The 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 way the fighting works looks really cool. It just looks great. It's not an expensive game either. I think it's like you could pre-order it now for like thirty two pound or something like that. Um, yeah. And it just looks fantastic. That's PS four and PS five. So um, nice. yeah, really looking forward to that. Coming out next week, I think. And I'm just I'm really really so that and Ollie Ollie I think maybe come out on the same day. But um, yeah. Oh God, what a moment. oh yeah, same day. Very cool. Uh, I'll what stream else? some seafood as well. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Seafood. Mm. <laughs> you know what? I had that in my head as well at the same time. <laughs> oh, really? so what, as soon as I said seafood, I was like, why does it sound so much like seafood? <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? Uh, Crossfire X. That sounds familiar. Yeah. Now, this was shown off a while ago um, on like a, an Xbox thing you know like a streaming you know like a show that they do like a showcase yeah yeah uh speaking of there's a grand turismo 7 one tonight at 10 o'clock which um i'm very much looking forward to Ooh, um so this is a campaign it was advertised sorry it was announced a while ago and now it's just coming out so um, <laughs> uh, crossfire is a big multiplayer game i think on pc uh, ah. this is a campaign there's two campaigns and they're made by remedy so one of which is free on Game Pass. The other one you have to pay for as an add-on, which is like 10 quid, I think. Oh, okay. uh, so yeah, well, it's coming out on Game Pass. It looked really good, but I've seen nothing about it since. And I tweeted yesterday that it was like, is that not like a worrying thing? It was announced, looked cool, but now it's just it's just coming out. Yeah. Weird. Can we play this trailer? Hope it works okay. Um... Remedy make great games. Yeah, hell yeah. Actual gameplay with this cutscene. Oh, okay. Gameplay. I remember that bit. Yeah. Yeah, I do remember this actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it looks awesome. It does. Yeah. That guy's hard as fuck. <laughs> nice. Cool. Hey, it looks really cool. But I've seen nothing of it since this. No. It's like, okay, is th <laughs> is there another trailer, or is we just gotta <laughs> work it out? Or it's, just, yeah. it's on Game Pass. Just play it. Who cares? Yeah, if you've got Game Pass, just download it. <laughs> yeah, why not? Nothing to lose. Yeah, if it's crap, just uninstall it. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, it looks cool. cool. Awesome. Uh, we have yet another Dynasty Warriors game. Should be a new one every month. Jesus. Run. <laughs> Boris. How? How are they still making this the same game? <laughs> Fucking nuts. This yeah. has been making this same game for 30 years nearly. <laughs> yeah, it's Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires. It's always an Empires version. It's like a more tactical sort of thing. 
Yeah, okay, Dynasty Warriors one. nine, but it's actually Dynasty Dynasty Warriors thirty eight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm on that. Three hundred and thirty eight, maybe. Uh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it's Dynasty Warriors. You press square, 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 triangle, and you win. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'm not even joking either. That's how you play the game. No, I know, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Look, your favorite franchise, Sonny. Total War, Warhammer. You love it. for fuck's sake. (laughs) Hey, look, it's not that I dislike Warhammer. It's that Warhammer dislikes me. That's fair. (laughs) Um... Yeah, Total Fucking War. nerds, man. Oh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> like Total, Total War, War, like Warhammer. It's, you know, it's that. Warhammer. It <laughs> <laughs> too, too complicated for me, but it looks all right. No, me neither. But look, again, there, there's got to be a market for it because they just keep throwing these games out. Oh, yeah. It's a huge franchise. People love it. We're not those people. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, on the Switch, we've got the Assassin's Creed Ezio Collection. Hell, yeah. Great, great, great games. games. My favorite Assassin's Creed games. Yeah, they are. Yeah. The best three. I am Except maybe Syndicate, Black Flag. Okay. <laughs> best three. No, no, they, these, are, these are the best three. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that. Yeah, the best three out of them. In terms of character, because, you know, Ezio is just a, an unbelievable character. Like, one, of, I think it's, Ezio is one of my favorite characters in gaming ever. Yeah. Just because of the way that he is. I just love the way that he was portrayed uh, throughout those games. Really, really cool. Yeah, very cool character. I agree. I have a statue Great collection for Switch as well, also. Yeah, very cool. I've got a little Ezio sta- uh, statue on my little shelf over there. Nice. Cool. Um, yeah, so if you've never played these games, what's wrong with you? Go buy on Switch. Yep. Mm. <laughs> uh, same day, we have Horizon Forbidden West. I know a lot of people are excited about this. There's some, some game about some ginger lady. This <laughs> is going to be so bloody massive. Yeah, it looks incredible. I... I really can't wait. I think it looks amazing. I've tried to avoid as much as I can, you know, because, you know, there's been a lot of, uh, especially recently on the build up to release, there's a lot of sort of gameplay stuff. And I just tried to avoid it all. I I saw all I needed to see in the original launch trailer. It just looks phenomenal. And I know that it will be phenomenal. Yeah, it's incredible. It looks amazing. Can't wait to film the Xbox. Oh, wait. Uh Oh, losers uh, <laughs> hey look it's alright just go and buy an Aloy NFT or something and then in, in a gazillion <laughs> years when it's worth <laughs> so much money you oh, robot yeah. grandkids great 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 grandkids who will definitely be <laughs> robots um, can make be, be rich off it if that's how yeah. it works I still don't really know I have no idea uh, uh, I don't care either uh, yeah that's going to be huge obviously yeah um, it's going to be massive Grid Legends speaking of Code Masters that's Code Masters isn't it yeah, it is. Yeah, looks really good. Um, one that I, again, this is one that I uh, will play if I'm given the opportunity to do so. Um, these games are always so good. The last grid game was really good. There's a really good one on Switch as well, and it's Codemasters. Yeah. So it will be very, very good. I remember really enjoying the first grid. You can get like sponsors. Yeah, me too. Yeah. On you can PS3. Get the, put the lo- yeah, yeah. You can get the logo. Put your logos on the car. Like yeah. wherever you want, you customize your car with the different logos and earn more money the more you have. But like, that's a really cool mechanic. And then you got rid of yeah. it too. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but this this will be really good. Um, these games are super consistent. Codemasters are super consistent. No matter who, you know, here's another thing. You know, EA acquired Codemasters. They're still going by Codemasters, but just the EA bracket as well. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. So yeah, nothing changed there, did it? It's still, you know, no, Code and Masters everyone cried about games. that as well when that happened. Yeah, <laughs> and nothing changed. EA bought Codemasters for mega money, and then it, it it's just become a nothing thing, and they're just bringing games out now. Yeah, for everything, by the way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> Literally everything. Cool. Um, yeah, don't know what for you guys. <laughs> I tell you, Sophie Two Alchemist or the Mysterious Dream. Can't this wait. Is, yeah. <laughs> no, right. Say that again, but slow. <laughs> Uh, Atelier Sophie 2, The Alchemist of the Mysterious Dream. Right. There are loads and loads and loads of Atelier games. I have a few on PS3. Um, they're very cool. It's all pretty much the same thing. Very, um, it's all to do with alchemy. You can make different... You go, you fight battles, you go collect ingredients. You come back, you make recipes. And go and fight more monsters. It's a fun, chill time. Um, there's like so, so many. It's impossible to get into now if you've never played one. <laughs> But it's a fun time. 
Fair it's enough. Cute. Will that be one you're going to look at? Uh, no, I've still got like 17 years <laughs> <Right. away. Okay. laughs> Um Maybe one day. And then probably the last, the biggest one for me of the month. I have a pre-order, the collected edition with the cool statue. It's, this is the uh, biggest uh, one for you? Yeah. Easily. Elden Ring. The next game okay. from, from Software. Um, which, of course, the company that made Dark Souls. Essentially the next Dark Souls game. Uh, it's open world. It looks incredible. The trailers are amazing. The screenshots are amazing. I can't show the screenshots apparently because I know I'm there. <laughs> uh, play some of the trailer if you can. I've, um, yeah. You know what? I've barely seen any of this. Yeah, it's not going to work on that one. Awesome. That's oh, all right. Man. It doesn't matter. Um, so this is this is basically an open world from software game, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is. Um, so I'm going to play this one. Peggy George 16. R. R. Martin Here we go. has been involved as well, hasn't he, with this? Uh, yeah, George R. R. Martin's um, made like they made the world and like the characters and enemies and stuff. Okay. It's very, very pretty. Um, it kind of reminds me of Breath of the Wild a little bit. You've got this big open world, but you can find these little mini dungeons that look sort of like Dark Souls levels. If that makes sense. Great. That's that. That 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 doesn't sound like death at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's very very Dark Souls. Um, still I mean, look at it, man. It looks so beautiful. Holy yeah, shit. Incredible. Man. This, I mean, this will be so good. Yeah. yeah. I cannot wait. But I'll this be took... shit at it, so it's pointless. <laughs> yeah, they still got like the dark, classic Dark, dark Souls gameplay. Like, yeah. Even like the sound effects are still the same. Um, yeah, it has that from Sakurai feel to it, and that's awesome. It's it's the reason they're still making these games. It's the reason there's like hundreds, hundreds, and hundreds of like games like oh, copy this time. People are stoked for this. Like people can't wait. Yeah. Like I've seen so, so cool. I know I know like, at least four people who have pre-ordered <laughs> like personally that have pre-ordered that edition that you've pre-ordered. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. So cool. Like, my mate Tommy messaged me. He was like, uh, I, I, "I pre-ordered this. It looks amazing." And I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, it does look amazing. Like it looks so good." Um, nice. The collector's edition looks like it's just fucking amazing too. Yeah, it's so cool. Even even now looking at the trailer, I'm like, oh man, this is so awesome. Can't wait. <laughs> Oof. That looked like a hurt. Did you? You've played Horizon, <laughs> right? Yeah, it was. Yeah, flattened it. Okay. I was. It was uh, like fairly recently actually. It wasn't. I didn't play it at the time. No, no. But, I remember uh, it took ages for you to play. Yeah, but no, I mean, enjoyed it. Well, obviously, eventually play the new one. Steve, anything uh, tickle you fancy that, uh, this month? Yeah. Uh, I think I'll check out Crossfire X might yeah. as well it's on Game Pass it does yeah. look awesome I do remember that that original trailer like you say it just it was that bit where they, the four of them went out the back of the plane I was like oh, yeah I remember that I remembered it forgot about it and then they were like it's coming out now I'm like uh, yeah. okay sure I guess oh yeah um, <laughs> yeah I'll check that really out it'll be good yeah Ollie Ollie World Good. Yeah. yeah. What a month. This is a this is a good month. You know, the really first month. big month. Next month's good as well. I mean, Grand Turismo comes out next month. WWE 2 k is out next month. Ooh. There's, you know, Grand, I can't believe Grand Turismo is actually coming out. I know, That's right? Crazy. That is actually looks amazing as well. Yeah. Yeah, it does look really good. Really good. But uh, for me, the biggest game of the month is Horizon. Finn, I'm assuming obviously your biggest game of the month is Elden Ring. Oh yeah. But this is a real peach of a month. Really, some really something for everybody actually this month. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, really good month. So uh, not good for your wallet, but good, a good month <laughs> overall if yeah. you like playing video games. Yeah, good for stuff. Sure. Yeah, the only one that's exclusive out of all of them is uh, Horizon. Mm. Yeah, the rest you can sure. play on everything. Is Elden Ring on Xbox? I don't remember. I have to look at that now. Yeah, I'm sure it is, isn't it? Uh, I think, I think, game, it, I think it is. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm certain it is. Let me look. Xbox. Uh, yeah, it must be because my mate's got an Xbox. So. Oh, you're right. It is. Yeah. It is need. Cool. There was a reason yeah, I had I it in my head that it was PS5 only, but no. There's loads. There's loads that I'm excited for this month. Like, I'm really looking forward to Seafood. I think that looks awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, but it's just, it's, yeah, there's just so much good stuff coming out. Um, very exciting. Very exciting indeed. Hell yeah. Yeah. All oh, right. We've been going an hour and 20. Wow. I've missed podcasting. I almost forgotten how to do it. <laughs> um, well, let's talk wrestling for a bit. 
What's that? We, we don't need to, we, you know, people by now have already watched the Raw Rumble, so we don't need to, like, go. We don't need to deep dive into it. Absolutely, now we're on the uh, road to Saudi Mania, Elimination Chamber. Then after that, it will be actual WrestleMania. Madcap Mania. Um, Madcap Mania. Madcap Mania. <laughs> um, but we watched the Raw Rumble. We watched it together. And I think uh, the fun we had was probably better than the show. <laughs> probably. Uh, I agree with that. Out of this moment, well, Seth versus Roman was really good. Really like, good. Like, didn't hate the ending either. A lot of people don't like no. the DQ ending, but I didn't really hate it. I understood it. Yeah, oh, it's fine. I like top uh, heel ending. Yeah, mm. I like Seth coming down with the shield entrance. So cool. Yeah, that, that was, was very cool. cool. Um, well, it's good. I like the women's rumble more than the men's. Um, yeah, there's more going on. I felt like so weird the the men's rumble this year, but you know the the casualty of the men's rumble, of, you know, has has actually been Shane McMahon because he's been quietly let go. I can't say. Yeah, yeah. I've just seen that. Yeah. So weird. Like, I don't. I mean, it was the. I, I, I think it's easily the worst. One of the worst men's Raw Rumble matches ever. Yeah, it was just predictable. Because it? it had nothing. Yeah, there's no real surprises. Um, you knew who was going to win <laughs> pretty much straight away. Hmm. As soon as Brock lost, it was like, well, he's going to win. Then one more, didn't he? Um, <clears throat> yeah. We, yeah, know, it felt like a non-event. The, the but but even, yeah, but even with Brock losing and that kind of, okay, well, he's going to win the Rumble, it could have been done so much better. Yeah. Like, bringing him in at the end was just obvious. Or near was. The end. What was it? What was he, 28, number 28? Or was he number no, 30? 30? I think he's 30. No, he was yeah. 30. 28 was Shane McMahon, I think. Um, <laughs> and I just think... Uh, by all accounts, you read if you read the reports and all of that sort of stuff, it was chaos backstage. People are pissed off at Shane McMahon. He helped produce the match, put himself in it as well. Um, eliminated then, Kevin Owens. Uh, yeah, eliminated Kevin Owens. Which, I mean, someone did. Re- someone did say, well, he did have that thing with him two or three years ago. So yeah, everyone's forgot about that. Time to move on. Um, yeah, he get fired after that. <laughs> You know, oh, you think you um, think long-term storytelling matters in WWE? You're joking. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so I just felt, yeah, it just wasn't. Look, I, I, I've never put a match it wasn't good together. It just wasn't very good, and it just all right. It was cool to see it start with AJ and Nakamura. That was cool. But then your final four was Brock, Shane McMahon. <laughs> Bad Bunny, I think, and, and someone else, Randy Orton, Middle. mate. No, not even Randy Orton. He was gone as oh, well. Oh, Ziggler, was it? I'm not sure. Uh, Dolph, you know, and and Middle. I said, I said at the time when we were watching it, I was like, look at that final four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, look at the state of it. None of, I mean, there's it, only one know, that was ever going to win. You know, you, you could have. It, I, I just feel it could have been done so much better. They could have bought Brock in halfway. Th- you know, at, maybe at number twenty. And when he gets to the ring, you've got Kevin Owens, AJ, Nakamura, uh, Drew McIntyre. You've got big names in there. And then it's like... Oh, right, it was Drew at the end, wasn't it, of course? It was Drew, yeah. And, and it could have been like, right, he's got to get through all them, and then there's another 10 to come. It was uh, Matt Riddle at the end. Drew wasn't in it, was he? He was injured. Huh? Drew was in it. Drew came back. Yeah, Drew was, not it? Yeah. No, he did, wasn't it? Yeah. But it was, I'm sure it was Matt Riddle in the last four, wasn't it? I can't Maybe. remember now. I, can't I don't know. Remember. I can't remember. Exactly. <laughs> That's how memorable <laughs> it was. I just yeah. felt it was it was done all wrong. Now. And then Shane coming in as late. You know, just if you're going to do that, bring bring him in at the start so he can be hoyed out. And Yeah, you know, I bring Bad know. Bunny in earlier. You know, I like Bad Bunny a lot. He's, he won me over last year with, uh, yeah, you know, with, his, with his sort of uh, stint on Raw and uh, WrestleMania. I'm so impressed. And you can tell he's an actual wrestling fan and he's put the work in. And you know what? As a celebrity entrant in the Royal Rumble, he's earned that place. Yeah. You know, if anyone's going to be a celebrity entrant in the Royal Rumble, it's 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 going to be him because he's earned it and he's great. And, you know, it was cool to see him. And I thought he was great in the Royal Rumble. But I felt like he came in too late. I felt like the yeah. crowd were um, were dead. I, th- I felt like the, the, the Royal Rumble... You know, we'd had no old school wrestlers. You know, no surprises like that. Everyone loves the novelty surprises in the Royal Rumble. Nobody wants to see 
both members of the Street Profits in the Royal Rumble because it's like when they, you know, because we know that they're not going to win it. You know, and we know the surprises aren't going to win it, but it's cool to see the surprises. Yeah. You see the Street Profits every week. You know? Mm. Yeah. Oh, where was Cesaro? I know. I know it's Cesaro open this, this uh, is, this yeah, is it. Not I mean, even in it. No. no. So weird. No. Such a weirdly booked Royal Rumble match and a, a poorly booked Royal Rumble match. Yeah, I just think it was, I, I think it was poorly booked. I mean, yeah. I mean, look, I, I've, I've seen some people tweet and, and say that, look, shouldn't, shouldn't WWE be praised for actually using, for the most part, their actual roster? And you think, yeah, okay, I get that. I get that because yeah, get we moan, that. We, we moan when the, when the roster isn't used. Um, but, the, uh, you know, I completely get that. But I think for me, what that showed on Saturday night when we watched that, when you got down to the final few and the names that were in there and no disrespect to those guys because they do far better things than I could ever do. Um, mm-hmm. I'd never put, I'd never go into a ring and do what they do. Um, it showed that in the last 12 months, a lot of people have left. That's what it, that's what it, it, mm-hmm. it smacked of that to me. Yeah, the de- the depth of the roster isn't quite what they think it is. Oh God, no! If you if you think if you think twelve months ago the names that they could have called upon to put into that rumble that just aren't there now, yeah, you know, all of undisputed era. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know they run NXT. Feel, you know, it Alistair doesn't feel Black, competitive though, blah, does blah, blah, blah. it? No, no, it doesn't. Because then when you started to see the people that were in there, and there was a all. Oh, there's someone still to come and you're like, you know, it's going to be Brock Lesnar, isn't it? And he's going to win. You know, let's face it. Yeah. You know, when Brock Lesnar, I don't know who was in the ring when Brock Lesnar entered, but it was obvious then because it's like, well, it's not going to be Otis, is it? No. <laughs> you know, no disrespect to the guy, but he's not going to win the Royal Rumble. You know, now no, that you're Brock's, right. Now, the, now no, that Brock's not. just come down. Whereas, I don't know, they could have, they could have just had some stronger, uh, bigger names in there at the time that Brock entered. So you kind of thought, well, it's not a given that he'll win. Even though he yeah, has. Even when, he, he did. even when the final two were Drew McIntyre and yeah. Brock. Like, I mean, to me, it didn't even slightly feel that Drew McIntyre was going to win. They didn't even give you that. Um, they didn't even but, give yeah. you that sort of impression that Drew no. could win, you know? I think, and, and that was, and that was the other thing as well. There was none of that, and I get, yeah. The, the thing that I, when I was thinking about it the next day, was even when it got down to that final two, as you say, there was just nothing made you think, oh, Drew could get. There was no, there was no close calls. There was no Brock hanging on for dear life. It was just whoop, gone of one. Yeah. yeah, they were they were almost relying on um, the WrestleMania storyline from two years ago. Well, obviously, mm-hmm. when they fought at WrestleMania and Drew did yeah. beat him, they were almost relying on people to remember and care about that yeah. for the, to then be invested in these final two. But but it, that didn't happen, and we 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 just knew that Brock was going to win, and that that it just made a disappointing Raw Rumble match. I'm not disappointed that Brock won because I understand from a yeah, story I perspective. It. I don't feel like he needed to win because I felt that Roman cost him Brock. The championship creates the story instantly. And, you know, in WWE with wins and losses, not me- me- really meaning much of anything. You know, Brock could have just, and Brock being a free agent, he could have just gone to SmackDown and challenged Roman for the title at WrestleMania anyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Without him winning the Raw Rumble. And then that's that spot that, because the Royal Rumble does boost your career. It could have gone to somebody else. Yeah. yeah. I'd have liked to have seen... Uh, I know I, I... Maybe I'm saying this because uh, I, 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 he was my outside bet, but given what had happened earlier on in the night, like you say, Roman had cost Brock the title. So mm-hmm. there's, there's there's your build for WrestleMania right there. You know, Heyman, yeah. Heyman, Heyman's switched sides again. So there, there's your build. Have Big E win the Royal Rumble, Big E versus Lashley. I'd, I'd, that'd be great. Yeah. That'd be great. You know, I know yeah, we honestly. said about, I know we said about Big E didn't have a great, but you could, you know, you'd learn from that. But, well, of course, yeah. Be- I mean, you it, know. it just became obvious that it was Brock. And I think that's the real shame. And look, I think, again, by, by, by all accounts, I don't think the, there was a little bit of chaos backstage as well with the women's Rumble. 
Um, yeah, because yeah. yeah, Tyson Kidd usually produces, but didn't. Yeah, he didn't. And one of the things that I read was that uh, a handful of the of the female wrestlers actually said, "Well, if he's not producing it, I don't want to be in it." Oh wow. Yeah, because he has a lot to do with producing the women's matches now, and he yeah. does a great job of that. And yeah. I mean, you know, it, Becky Lynch even said it on um, the podcast that she did with Stone Cold that Tyson Kidd's just such a great mind for the business, and he's so it's so good that he is a producer in WWE. I'm not sure why he wasn't there, um, but I think Fit Finley did it. Okay. Uh, from what I read, I think they, I think Fit Finley's been doing some stuff on NXT. Um, to be honest, I actually thought he, I thought he'd just been completely released. I didn't realize yeah. he was still with WWE and still doing stuff. But um, yeah, apparently he did the women's Raw Rumble. Um, but I enjoyed the women's one more than I enjoyed yeah. the men's one. Yes. Even though the women's one still wasn't perfect, but there was more more to enjoy in there, like the Nikki um, Ash, you know, attacking Molly, Mighty Molly, before uh, she oh, even yeah. got to the ring. You know, that was good because. It was cool to see Mighty Molly, but also it created a bit more heel heat for Nikki, which was mm. great. And there was there was different stuff in the women's Raw Rumble that I thought was I thought was good, and there was some stuff that I thought was bad. Yeah, Mickey James coming out with the Impact music with the title it was very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, also, yeah. Ivory was very funny with the right to censor yeah, music. Yeah, right and... to censor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was very cool. I enjoyed that. I thought that was great. Um, um, I thought I thought the Bellas looked great. You know, I thought the yeah, Bellas yeah, they, they get a harsh they get a harsh time from um, from the internet. They really do. But um, I thought they were good. You know, I thought they they didn't look out of place no. at all with any no, of the fine. women that people would consider to be real women's wrestlers or whatever. <laughs> uh, I thought the Bellas did a good job. Yeah, mm. they're fine. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with that? I think the surprise one for me was how early Sasha Banks went went out. Yes. Oh yeah. She went really early. Hmm. Because uh, she was, she was in one, there long enough. She? Yeah, she was in there long enough for the nerds to be able to crack one off oh, yeah. to the Sailor Moon outfit that she was wearing. <laughs> so is that the point good. where Finn grabbed the blanket? It was. It, yeah, yeah, he he, dis- he disappeared <laughs> for like ten minutes. <laughs> he took his phone with him. Um, I'm not sure why. And then he came back. Uh, and ate some cake. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> more cake. And it was like, oh, that was a good... Yep. Cool. Um, yeah, yeah, and he was like, that was a good wank. Sorry, that's really good cake. What? what, what <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't watch Sailor Moon, but damn it. <laughs> Don't watch it. <laughs> uh, Oh, that was yeah, a really that's good funny. wank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think Delina Vega had some sort of uh, maybe Naruto, Naruto thing. Got into a huge uh, Naruto fan. Naruto, can't say it. Yeah, anime yeah. fan. But yeah, the, 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 but again, <laughs> you know, even with all the surprise, I mean, you know, Summer Rae wasn't in there for very long. Uh, Kelly Kelly was in it, wasn't she? But uh, Kelly that just showed. Different. But it just showed the the lack of depth in that in, in that roster as well. Yeah, Cameron, remember her? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they tried to build like some sort of more heat between Sonya Deville and um, Naomi, Naomi using yeah. that. Naomi checked her oh, inside, yeah. picked her up, and dropped her straight away. <laughs> you okay? Cool. Oh, I'm going to check on you. Okay, Ashley, fuck it. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. 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 <laughs> it's so, so stupid. It's like if you look at all the women's talent they've released over the last year and what's left, the depth is not good. Apparently, they they asked Dia Jax to come back as well. <laughs> yeah, God, she yeah. said no, uh, like the iconics, uh, and she good. was like, no. Yeah, I, I listened to the uh, uh, Rene Paquette. Oh, yeah. last night with Nia Jax on. Yeah, quite interesting when she mentioned it on there. She was like, yeah, yeah, I was asked to go and. Uh, because I thought they were calling me to tell me that they'd found the other, the rest of my stuff that they still have, and they were going to send it to me. Yeah. And it wasn't. It was. Uh, do you mind? Would Would you be interested in coming back to the to the Royal Rumble? And uh, she was like, "Fuck no, <laughs> <laughs> no, not, me. not the a chance." Is, you know, <laughs> you've just been released. You've lost your job, and now they come crawling back because they've they've got a lack of. <laughs> women for for their for their rumble match and you're like this it's is a bit a of slap a in the take, face isn't it oh it's a huge it slap really in the is face. a piss take yeah it, it's yeah yeah 
Yeah, Do you want to come back to of... get tipped out in about 30 seconds? I mean, look at Molina at the start. Oh, yeah. Looked great, had a Poor big Melina. entrance. He had that big moment with Sasha Banks, and Sasha Banks basically just fucking lobbed her out very quickly. <laughs> yeah, I've had bad for her. All that effort to come back and... Yeah, because she know. got quite emotional as well, didn't she? They had, like, when they had yeah. the stare down, and she was visibly like emotional, like, wow, you know, I can't believe I'm back. And you, know, Whee! And you go. <laughs> <laughs> Straight out. It's like, it's like Ivory. She, you know, Ivory has obviously travelled there, you know, you know, sorted a ring gear and all that stuff out. Come down, did a promo, chucked straight out. It's like, was it worth it? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably getting paid a crap turn. Uh, that, that's oh, the thing, yeah, isn't is it? That. It's I'm like, sure. it's like, so you're going to pay me that much for a sit around for a few hours? We'll rehearse what we're doing, and then you're going to throw me out after? Th- yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Vince has paid her in Dogecoin. <laughs> yeah, Dude. I think he knows what that is. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Still carries yeah. around a coin purse. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, there's a, a coin nickel. purse. <laughs> <laughs> I've had this nickel since 1963. <laughs> when I was 60. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God damn it. But yeah, so the women's Royal Rumble was just weird and it, it but it was better than the men's. It was just re- re- really like disjointed. Um yeah. sometimes it felt a little bit it looked a little bit sloppy, but again, obviously the, the women of WWE have become so used to Tyson Kidd producing their match and having, you know, being given instruction in a certain way, where maybe it just sort of threw them off and I don't I don't I don't know. I don't I, I, I know that they have producers for every match or whatever. Um, not something that I'm really used to sort of when I've been around wrestling, but obviously it's, you know, I don't work on a big time production like WWE, but yeah, I mean, it, it, if Tyson Kidd was a, the factor in that women's role, well, maybe not being as polished as it maybe should have been, then that says to me that he needs to be around more often. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, definitely. Yeah, you know, Ronda Rousey came back, um, got a big pop, terrible ring gear, really bad ring gear. <laughs> um, I don't know if she's a face or whether she's a heel. I don't yeah, know. I just, I just pointed her and Shane didn't get some sort of face off because they're both in the ring at the same time. They sort of glanced at each other and then Shane got both thrown out. Said, oh, okay. I guess that's yeah. going to be a thing then. Yeah, because uh, I mean, I watched Raw the day after, which actually was good. Uh, um, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> but we watched it. We finished. Like me and Kay watched it. Uh, we were skimming through. Like we, we we watched it. You know, skipped some of the shit bits. And we were like, <laughs> we actually got through the whole thing, and it wasn't terrible. Wow, mm. I'm not to watch it yet. I'm have to go have a look. But I enjoyed it. You know, um, I think Brock is still doing great work. Yeah, Brock has um, been doing amazing. As a face, he's so so good. I love it. Things I don't get. Like, why did Kevin Owens have to qualify for the Elimination Chamber, but Seth's is just in, and Brock is just in, <laughs> yeah. and then they've had qualifying matches. So that stuff didn't make any sense to me. But um, I think what we're probably heading for is KO versus Rollins at WrestleMania. That'd be awesome, potentially, um, because like Kevin Owens was like, "Oh, so you've not got to qualify, but I've got to have a match to get in the Elimination Chamber," uh, which he lost to Austin Theory, but. Um, yeah, I think we're probably going to head to, uh, for Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins at WrestleMania, which I'm all for. Yeah, mm-hmm. Kevin Owens probably got Seth at Elimination Chamber somehow. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I, w- I don't want Brock to win the WWE title because I don't think it's necessary. No. Um, it just doesn't need to happen. You know, I think mm-hmm. Roman could maybe call, run some interference there and cost Brock his chance in the Elimination Chamber or something. I don't know. But, yeah, you know... They're, they're basically treating the Elimination Chamber as an actual pay-per-view and not a Saudi show. Yeah, which is a good thing. That's I what suppose. it feels like to me, at least. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's going to be canon, isn't it? They're going to... They're gonna, they're gonna yeah, like... for sure. And yeah. we'll actually be able and to it... stay awake this time. <laughs> because it's on a yeah. decent time. <laughs> yeah, which is good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I, I think... I, I always love... I love to be, you know, WrestleMania season. Raw Rumble onwards. I just hope it can... I mean, Raw was really good this week, and I hope it can continue that level of consistency. By the way, AJ Styles and Rey Mysterio had a banger of a match. Really, really good. Awesome. Um, as did Kevin Owens and Austin Theory. That was really good. 
That's good. But, you know, there was some good stuff on Raw this week. It, it, you know, very little filler. Skip the Dolph Ziggler bits because no one cares. Um, <laughs> That's your favourite wrestler, Sonny. Yeah, right. Uh, plus, he's, he's going to be going to he's going to be doing some stuff in NXT. So I'll be not watching NXT for a bit. Oh God, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> oh, yeah, him and Bron Breaker, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, what's the mm. point? <laughs> we know that Dolph Ziggler's not going to beat Bron Breaker. <laughs> like, we know this already. Yeah, I think it's just a get people to watch because they put AJ Styles down there for a little bit oh you think you think that sending Dolph Ziggler there is going to get people to watch yeah of course why Why wouldn't it people love Dolph Ziggler yeah that's going to get less people <laughs> to watch including me yeah <laughs> you'll like, stay up and watch it you'll stay up yeah oh it's Dolph Ziggler versus Bron Breaker <laughs> yeah better book the next day off work it's going to be a late yeah. one <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so the Raw Rumble overall was, I think, it was a weird show. Yeah, yeah. strange one. Was yeah. it? Was it good? Uh, was it terrible? No, mm, but it was no. just middle ground. Yeah, it wasn't. Didn't feel like a big, like one of the big pay per views. Just kind of felt like a, yeah, a throwaway. Yeah, I guess. it could have just been better, couldn't it? Yeah. Because um, hey, they teased so- um, like five surprises for the men's Rumble, and there's like. Like what two, <laughs> maybe? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess yeah, they just Ball filled Kofi it out with the actual roster. <laughs> yeah, and Ball Kofi uh, missed his spot and uh, yeah tried to jump onto the barricade and just touched the floor by accident. Whoops. Are we, you know what's weird? We even said earlier on in the night, we didn't we? It, one day. We did. Yeah, one day. Yeah, one day. Yeah, earlier on in the night, the one day. Yeah, and it happened to be the night. Sorry, Kofi, we we jinxed it for you, mate. Do apologise. Yeah. Sorry, Kofi. <laughs> yeah, next year it'll go really well. Yeah, definitely. I saw a uh, I saw a clickbait, real clickbait headline. The real reason why Kofi Kingston was eliminated so early because uh, both his feet touched the floor when they weren't supposed to. Yeah, well, maybe yeah that indeed. was it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be fair, what what he tried to do is incredibly risky it's, anyway. Is yeah. I mean, um, I feel like they could have got away with it, just not showing the replay and just be like, oh yeah, look, he didn't do it or something, but. Yeah, okay, maybe great. for future, oh, yes. if, he, if he tries that again next year, maybe have the camera a bit higher. So <laughs> yeah, if you yeah. don't actually... Oh, look, look, he's... he's yeah, they just quickly put the camera down to show... The, fan, the fans will call it out, though. There's no escaping it these days, but everyone's got a phone Oh, yeah, in their it'll, be, it'll be on Twitter within 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. oh Kofi's still in the, the ring, but his feet touch the floor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, I, I really hope WWE can pick up these next few weeks on the road, on the build-up to yeah. WrestleMania. Mm. Um, Raw, but yeah, go watch Raw this week. It was was pretty decent. I'm looking forward to AEW tonight. Oh yeah, uh, I think that's going to be yeah. really cool. Brian Kendrick is uh, wrestling yeah. named AEW tonight. He requested yeah, his release. I, love, I was granted it yesterday, and tonight he's wrestling John Moxley on Dynamite. How cool is that? It's so cool. I, I'm big, big, big uh, fan, and uh, can't wait to see more than Brian Kendrick. It's always yeah. a big fan of him back in the day, like. With yeah, me too. Brian Kendrick, like it's cool it music. Cool. It's like it's so yeah. good. I used to like him when he would tag him with Paul London. Yeah, yeah, me too. Big fan then. But I saw some people <coughs> on Twitter earlier on, like, oh, why are they, why are they getting these people in? Why are they getting all these ex WWE guys in? You know, Gee, uh, most AEW fans don't know who he is. It's like, are you mental? <laughs> it's yeah, Brian we'll Kendrick. You obviously don't watch wrestling if you don't know who he is. Yeah, he's got all this experience. He can help. You know. All the young guys, that's you know, that's why we need people great in, you know? as well. Yeah, it's still amazing. Him and Mox will have a banger tonight. Oh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, they'll have it's a real good. banger of a match tonight. Yeah. I think it's going to be good. Yeah. Um, CM Punk versus MJF tonight as well. Oh, nice. yes, that's going to be really good. Um, you know, and also, you know, now we're entering this period now where there's people that are going to start turning up in places because. The guys that were released in November, so uh, Karrion Cross, Keith Lee, those guys, their um, ninety-day no compete is, is up. Yeah, yeah, they can do yeah. what, they can do whatever they want. Um, That's why so, Nia Jax yeah. was on that podcast. So ninety days up. Yeah, yeah. So people can go and do what they want and appear wherever they want now. So um, I, I expect Impact and um, AW. I know I've been critical of AW signing people and what are they doing with everybody type thing, but you know, it's exciting, isn't it? As a fan, you want to, you know, you want people to, to turn up to places because it's exciting. Yeah. 
So yeah. I think I think I mean I think Keith Lee could easily slot in an AEW. Same with Cross. Yeah, Italy. Well, we tried the internet favorite Dan Housen uh, shop a- AEW last week. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> I still don't really know much about him. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm watching a bunch of his stuff. He's a very funny guy. I like him a lot. He's uh, very good. He's one of these guys just stays in character. Like whenever you see him, he's always got the face paint on. He's always doing a voice. He's always yeah. uh, in character. He's very good. Very good. Very evil. Yeah. Naturally, Vince Russo shits on it. Of course he did. Who cares? No one, who he is. no one knows who he is. No one knows who he is. Like, shut up. He's one of the popular guys right. in the right now. Idiot. He's <laughs> like, I'm in the business and I don't know who he is. Yeah, you're not, not in the business anymore. You're you in the do business for like 20 years. <laughs> you yeah. the WWE you're not in the business. And TNA. Yeah, you don't work for any company now. You're just a guy who was in the business, but now does a podcast and says the word bro a lot. <laughs> bro. 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 A bro. Bro, bro, bro. A bro. A bro. A bro. A bro. A bro. A bro. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. like, every time I see a clickbait headline, it's either fucking Vince Russo, Jim Cornette, or Disco Inferno. Of oh, yeah. All people. <laughs> Glenn Gilberti uh. is critiquing the wrestlers of today. Why? <laughs> you're, a, you're barely a wrestler. What are you? Yeah. Uh. Disco fever. Di- no. 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 Not at all. Disco no. Inferno. Like, Don't be like critiquing me. wrestling. It's like me critiquing Ronaldo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. WCW legend. Well, let's stop there. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll stop there, shall we? WCW legend. It should just say, former member of the WCW roster, Disco Inferno. Yeah. Says he doesn't like today's AW product because it's not very good. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Get did you see? Uh, did you see Summer Rae's um, response to people that were crying over the fact that she was being called a legend? Okay. Yes. She, like, she said, "Well, I didn't tell them to call me that. <laughs> but don't have yeah. a go at me." <laughs> yeah. yeah. Aim your hate somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I mean, there's, there's so much misplaced hate on yeah. the internet. Yeah, oh, it's it crazy. is. <laughs> what? You're not a legend. I didn't say I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they said it, not me. They they obviously yeah. class me as that. <laughs> it's crazy. Bro. 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 Fucking Bro. <laughs> <laughs> is this going for now on Vince Russo's podcast or is he on somewhere else? Is he on fucking There's so many now, like Jeff Jarrett's got one. Yeah, everyone's got a podcast. I don't think Jeff Jarrett is critiquing the product (laughs) currently, though. I think he's sort of going through past stuff, which is cooler. But this guy, Inferno, the balls on him to sit there and critique (laughs) anybody. Yeah. Anybody. Anybody. Fucking Disco Inferno. Get (laughs) Ben. What does his his Twitter bio say? Former WCW TV champion and cruiserweight champion and professional VIP red wrestling podcast host. Mm. Right. Who's, list- who's listening to that? Why? <laughs> yeah. It's people who've got um, like a, an Undertaker t-shirt from a WWF tour that they went to in the 90s and they can't, <laughs> they, like, they can't let that era of wrestling go. So Disco Inferno, when he was at his height of popularity in WCW, he's their go-to guy for uh, wrestling critiques. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. They've uh, got a foam hand with all the rules on it. And <laughs> okay. uh, they're big Disco Inferno fans. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what these people are. <laughs> oh, they're not cool like the people who listen to this. No, people just you need more people to listen to this. All the cool people, yeah, don't listen cool to people Disco around. Inferno and comment yeah. on his shit on Facebook. Just come and listen <laughs> to this. Like <laughs> this, this is you know we've covered NFTs and the, yeah. and the fact that we still really don't know what they are. Um, we covered you know we're obviously esteemed businessmen and covered acquisitions of gaming companies by other gaming companies. Mm-hmm. Um, we critiqued the production of the men's and the women's Royal Rumble. <laughs> and um, yeah, um, I don't listen to the opinions of former WCW television champion Disco Inferno. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you should. Maybe you should. Yeah. No, he's a fuckwit. I'm not going. <laughs> 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 
I don't, I don't understand who, of all the podcasts out there, why, why would you go for one that would have Disco Inferno on it? Yeah, no, I'm, I agree. That Vince Russo or... No, no bro. No, bro. Bro, bro. So I wouldn't listen to Cornette. You know, I used to like Cornette as a character on screen, but these guys are just so out of touch with the business these days. They they want it yeah. to, you know, still be meat slapping. Bro. That's what they Rass- want. They wrestling. Want- they want wrestling. They want the terri- They want to be booking the territories. Yeah, they, you know, they, they don't want skinny guys like Adam Cole. They want. <laughs> they want meat slapping. Yeah. They want meat, big pants meat wrestling. Meat. They just want oiled up, <laughs> tiny pants, <laughs> knee pads, boots, and fucking wrist tape, and they're just slapping meat. They're doing a test of strength in the ring. <laughs> that's that, that that's real wrestling. Yeah, that's what we want. Save your Canadian destroyers. Give us a test of strength, a good old test of strength. <laughs> <laughs> Bet they have their fucking dicks in their hands for Brock versus Lashley. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, some meat slapping. <laughs> 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 they might have win the Undertaker. Was going on about uh oh, back in my day, men were you know, we all men. They had carried guns and all this crap. Yeah. And now they're playing video games. It's like I think I'd rather live in this area with video games than bloody guns and knives. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Back That's in my day, we, were, we used to get. We used to inject, inject each poker. other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, oh, the good old days. We used to inject each yeah. other with steroids. <laughs> it's like take now a, look at them. You know, you know, these people are either retired or dead. And you know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure that it was the best of time. I mean, great for us on TV, but your antics after the shows, as legendary as they the stories might be, not sure they were the healthiest. Yeah. <laughs> not so much. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. It's very true. Yeah. It's very true. Good times. What a weird podcast this has been. We've we've <laughs> it's been good. It's we've, been we've, funny. It's been good. We we've gone through we've gone through it all this week. Yeah. We have. We have. We've had a lot to catch up on. We, we have had a lot to catch upon. That's true, actually. Yeah, that's very true. So, yeah, I mean, has anyone else got anything they want to say about wrestling? I think it's about it. No, yeah. no, buzzing for Saudi mania. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to a five o'clock and, five and not PM. five p.m. Yeah. as well. Not going to bed at five a.m. when Brock has won the Royal Rumble that you said he would win eight hours previously. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I could have, uh, yeah, I could have gone bed. <laughs> you could have, I could have just not yeah. bothered at all. <laughs> yeah, I could have just after the pre-show, I could have just gone right. I'll catch that tomorrow. See you later. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'll take some cake with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so cool. Saudi Mania, we'll do that round. We'll have that round mine as well. We'll do a pre-show before the pre-show, like an afternoon pre-show before the pre-show as well. Yeah, Ooh. we can do that. We'll do it. We'll have some cake. Oh, yeah. Cake. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Mm. Be good to- be good times. Yeah. Um. So what, uh, what, what are we going to do? So obviously we, we were doing the podcast weekly before. Do we do it weekly continu- like con- going forward? Do we just do, do it every fortnight and then continue with the streams and stuff? Right, let's, let's, let's talk about it now while the people are listening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not really um, sure. Yeah, as, it, as a lot... when we can, maybe I don't know. Yeah, obviously doing a lot more now with streaming and everything. Um, mm. I only get I have my days are very sporadic at the minute. Uh, so uh, yeah, I don't know. I think maybe every two weeks for a while, just so we got okay. you know, two weeks there'll be a lot more news and a lot more stuff to talk about. Because um, sometimes we'll have a week where we just like nothing really happened. <laughs> um, We're just grab ass in. Yeah, pretty much. But uh, yeah, I think every two weeks will be good, and just stream as much as we can. Uh, in between, between. Yeah. yeah, in between. Yeah, I mean, I plan on still, you know, streaming weekly still, um, yeah, doing too. stuff. Also, um, I've got a new WCW podcast coming out. Ooh. Oh yes, tell, tell us more. more. Game, games and Graps, um, Nitrous Radio. That's what I've called it. Nice, I like it. So basically, um, going to be covering a couple of episodes. We started watching Nitro from 1996 onwards all right so um first episode is going to drop next monday i'm going to record it sunday 
Um, I'm going to stick it out Monday. It's going to be pretty no frills. It's not going to have the fancy production and stuff that Finn puts on this one. <laughs> it's just going to be me doing some talking. All right. Um, so the first one we're going to cover the January the first, and then the, the week after's Nitro. Um, we're going to build. We're going to do the Nitro episodes. Then we'll do an episode for the pay per views, and we'll chuck that out every Monday. All right. So you aren't going to get a podcast every Monday. Just won't be the traditional games and grabs. So we'll do traditional games and grabs every other week. Um, Nitrous Radio every Monday with me. And then we're going to be doing the streams and all that sort of stuff as well. So you're, you're going to get plenty of games and grabs uh, for you to enjoy. Yeah. Good stuff. And we're still going to be chuck videos and stuff on YouTube as well as um, uh, streaming on Twitch. Uh, mm-hmm. So yeah. So we're going to be playing games on Twitch that we get sent codes for we're gonna you know preview games and all that kind of stuff uh so you'll see that you'll see like series like finn's doing mass effect i'm gonna do assassin's creed once i've uh yeah once i start getting back into that and steve's gonna be doing halo there's gonna be so look there's so much and join our discord we'll tell you all about it all right or if you follow us on twitter uh or instagram or facebook we're trying to be better at social media and stuff as well um look we're just if you want the information you'll find it (laughs) We're everywhere. We'll be around. Everywhere. All right, we're not going anywhere. In fact, we're going to be here more than you'll probably want us to be. <laughs> but the, yes. I, I've enjoyed this episode. It's been good to be good to be back. Yeah, good me too. To be back, definitely. Definitely good to be back. Um, I'm not sure when this podcast is coming out. Finn will know better than us. Will I? <laughs> uh, yeah, we only got a couple of days. Okay, there you go. Yeah. So, yeah, there we go. You might have even had a stream in between now and then. Yeah, Oof. probably. Yeah. Lucky people. You very lucky people. So, yeah, I look forward to bringing you uh, Nitrous Radio. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you've enjoyed all the content we've put out this year so far. Um, stick with us. Just, yeah, follow us on all the social medias, at Games and Graps, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Go follow us on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Games and Graps. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash games graps and of course this is the games and graps podcast we are a fortnightly video game and wrestling podcast that posts on all podcast services everywhere 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 <laughs> and youtube um but for me i'm sunny g i've been with mad cap finn steel goodbye and mad cap steve and we'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thanks very much. Goodbye. Divas. Divas. You need to just send me a message and I'll come on these games. <laughs>